This is like when we do it on battery exhaust, it's a big thing. This isn't a big thing. This is just Alan being a pathetic idiot. So uh, it might work this way to edit it off the end of a stream like this. Let's have a look. This is his patron. And just to put it in context, this is his patron from, he did an episode called Grumpy Granny Exposes AD Miners for Battery Boys Team and repeatedly made homophobic slurs against me. And he's very upset about Grumpy Granny's video with his daughter in it. So I didn't do anything about his video with his daughter in it. I'm not responsible for that, but he seems to have lumped me into it. So that, this is in response to that. Uh, bit of a big mess as far as we're all concerned, I suppose. Bit of a big mess. Let's push on. Where is he? There he is. He's smiling. Hello. Cup of coffee. It's really... What a night, what a day. What a night. How do I keep going? I'll put him on, no I'll put him on normal going. speed. Um, how do you keep going? Well, with that coffee, apparently. But what's quite likely is the fact that he had to say and state, this is a cup of coffee. It's quite likely that might not be coffee. It could be something else. <laughs> Maybe something stronger. How do How you keep going? Do I keep fighting? How do I keep my self up? How do I? Because you're a massive egotistical narcissist, and people give you money. I've got a boy in Carolina trying to take me to court to throw me at my house. I don't have any money. Going on about that again. I've got this man Chuffer. That's me. Just decided I'm a P based on the fact I sung a karaoke song on my own. Uh, not just based on that. I didn't decide you were a paedophile. You said that you were searching. In fact, you know, for anyone that's not seen this quickly, uh, let's go to Super Chuffer. And, you know, this one really, really does it for me. Not the, not that picture of the Jeffrey Epstein, sorry, the Prince Andrew picture. Not just that. The one that really does it, for, and I say really does it for me. There's lots of different... Um, things about Alan that have led to this. They've but... checked my computer. I've done nothing wrong. There is no child porn on the internet. I hate to warn you that. There is no child porn on the internet. I checked. Because I wanted to know if Bundy was right. There is no child porn on the internet. So that's... Only role playing. I know that. So don't throw things at me. I've never been arrested. They've checked my computer. I've done nothing wrong. So that sounds pretty dodgy. And the other bits and pieces that we all know about, you know, the way he talks about the children, the way he's built his channel on the murders of children, the way he laughed about them and made jokes about their demise, sung songs about them, the way that he set up an agency advertising the services of boys and girls as escorts that wasn't a real agency that you couldn't contact him on except it was on his Facebook so he totally could uh, there are so much so many problems and then I dug out his small where he was singing, singing with the kids or the kids were singing with him or whatever and the way that we compare that to other people's use of smule which fits a pattern and the way that his defense for searching for mother licks cone off daughter's face was that he was doing it for research which also fits a pattern of other offenders so there's so, so many problems there but yeah go on Alan got these stupid women believing him stupid women that's you i've got him writing songs about murdering women and then writing a song about being in love with my daughter so again this is getting weird now Alan, isn't it the fact that we're going to go on about a couple of songs one of which wasn't doesn't where's my fucking camera I want my camera bigger Like one song I wrote like nearly 20, I don't know how many years ago now, and uh, does have murder as a theme, but it's written in the voice of a murderer. Like there's loads of songs out there that are written in the voices of other people. But yeah, do go like, you know, keep throwing that around. And then the other thing that's interesting is that the most recent song was specifically written about loving your daughter to sort of irk you really, wasn't it? And it really worked. And it was at the end of an eight hour stream and we were just messing about. So Alan can't take a joke. And then I've got threats to my youngest daughter on the internet because of me. Because no one's, there's no threats on the internet to his youngest daughter. He claims that somebody sent her a, a threat like on a message, but they've been breaking it down and it looks like that was made up. But yeah, go ahead. I'm holding myself responsible. Or that it was sent some time ago and that it relates to something not related to this. Why are you only responsible, Dad? Why are you holding yourself responsible? Because if I didn't start a true crime channel, 
they wouldn't be in this particular that I put them in. This is weird, right? He says, I'm holding myself. Look at his little, his little face. Why are you holding responsible, Dad? Why? Why are you holding responsible, Dad? He's like slurring his words. But I think this is an appeal to his actual daughters. I think his daughters might be watching this, or I, I think they might be. I don't know. Why are you holding yourself responsible, Dad? And then he's going to try and like, like this is so fucking weird. Because yes, you should. You are responsible. Like if you hadn't done all this bullshit on the internet, Alan, none of this would be happening. So you are responsible. Like because of me, because I'm, I'm holding myself responsible. Oh wait, wait, well, hang on, what? And then I've got threats to my youngest daughter on the internet. Because of me, because I'm a... Because I'm a... And he doesn't say it. To my youngest daughter on the internet, because of me, because I'm a... Because you're a what? To my youngest daughter on the internet, because of me, because I'm a... I'm holding myself responsible. I'm holding myself responsible. You nearly did then. You nearly said that the threats were because of you and because you are a thing but you stopped saying the thing. Not because they're calling me a thing, but because I am a thing. That was fucking weird, that was. Did you feel that was weird? Did you might have noticed what I'm saying there? I'm gonna replay that again, actually. It's the way he accidentally nearly says that he is a, and then stops himself. Responsible. Why are you only responsible, Dad? Why are you holding yourself Because if I didn't start a true crime channel, they wouldn't be in this predicament that I put them in. And then I say, well, I didn't put them in that predicament. They did. But if I wasn't, if I did a different case than the real... But if I wasn't... This is weird. Women ...and then writing a song about being in love with my daughter. And then I've got threats to my youngest daughter on the internet because of me. Because I'm a... Because I'm a... I'm holding myself responsible. And he changes it. I'm holding myself responsible. Okay, we'll go with that. Uh, you're holding yourself responsible. You should, because you are responsible. Why are you holding responsible, Dad? Why are you holding yourself responsible? Because if I didn't start a true crime channel, they wouldn't be in this predicament that I put them in. Sort of. It's not that you started a true crime channel. That's not the problem. It's that you acted like an arsehole all the time. You know, it's this litany of ills that we talk of. So it's not just... It's not like, oh... You know, because I'm a famous person, now they're under fire. God, it's my fault for being so good and famous. It's not that. It's not about true crime. It's about you and your behaviour. And then I say, well, I didn't put them in that predicament. They did. But if I wasn't, if I did a different case than the Rusex, maybe I wouldn't be where I am now if I did. No, well, no, you wouldn't be where you are now. No, it was purely the media furore over the Rusex case that got you where you were now, yeah. Did I do the wrong case? Did I do the wrong thing? Did I do it too long? Did I do it too long? Four years. Did, 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 if only, if only, if only. I can't change the past. I can't. Oh, it's, oh, this is narcissism then. I can't change the past. I'm not, you know, I thought oh, for a minute there he was going to realise that he was responsible and take ownership of this problem. But instead, he's just said, oh, well, uh, I could have, I should have, would have, could have. Well, you can't change it. It is what it is. Like, bizarre. I haven't done the, the Watts case for six months. And, I don't and now he's putting it all on the Watts case. It's not the Watts case. It's you, Alan. It's you. I don't intend never to do it again. Yet they can't seem to get beyond it. They can't seem to get over it. They think, like, if there's 500 channels doing Shannon Watts, and some of them are telling terrible things about Shannon, and these people that hate me don't see it. Because... <laughs> there can be a million little YouTube channels saying little weird stuff. I mean, I, I don't, that's a weird hyperbole. There's 5,000 other people doing it. There's not at the moment. There's not. He's thinking about one other person that's particularly, you know, not doing good stuff about it, which I don't even watch myself. But Alan, you were doing massive loads of it and you got big views and you were living off it and feeding off it. And, you know, you even made a book about it. I was listening to a, a stream the other night and they didn't even know who is making films about Shanna. They... Because this other person that you're alluding to has probably got like 100 views or something. I don't even know who they are myself. It's irrelevant. This is not your defence. Somebody else is doing something bad is not your defence. They don't even know. But they only know... And the stream he's alluding to, we'll find out a little bit later, is Genetic Code's friend, I'm fucking nuts, I think her name is. About me, well, I don't do the case. But they don't know about the channels that are doing the case. 
in horrible ways. And What's I'm that thinking, got to do I with can't you? work this out. So why, why are they saying I'm tormenting this family? Well, I haven't done it for six months, but they're all... You have tormented the family, and the videos are still up. Channels. Totally tormenting the family. And why are you making it about this again? I thought it was about you taking responsibility for your daughters. Enough, enough. What's it called? I don't know. There's loads of them. But Dave, there's loads of them. But they, they just want me. They just want me. And I don't want anything to do with them. I, I'm not interested in that case. Anymore. It's toxic. I'm not interested in it. You're toxic. It's well, turning. This is suddenly turned into a massive pity party. Oh, I'm so wounded. Oh, I'm so upset. Oh, I don't deserve this. Like he fucking does deserve it. It was agree with the family who thought that the mistress was involved. And I, I picked up the baton from the family and ran with it. That's what I did. Yeah, the family of the murdered children and all that gave you. I, I mean, I don't know about this. But I'm assuming the family did not ask Alan Armchair Detective to go and make all his videos. And then suddenly, for some peculiar reason, they backtracked and said that, oh, the Kessinger's just a nice lady. I've got to think that something went on. I've got to be careful what I say because... Oh, right. It wasn't that you were wrong and you were saying horrible stuff on the internet. So obviously someone got in their ear and changed their mind behind the scenes. And before, the family were definitely supportive of you. And then they changed their mind behind the scenes. Yeah a delusion to make your narcissist reality seem acceptable. So he was going to take responsibility for the problem he's got his daughters in. And the issue is someone's posted their Facebook pictures on a video. And the reason they've done that, Grumpy Granny's done that, is because Alan was so vile and horrible, he took it to such a low and horrible place by doxing my family and bullying women on the internet. I don't know if Granny's worried about my family, but some of the other women in this Truth of Community have been bullied by Alan now to the point where they're not having it anymore. They don't want people bullying Val. They don't want people bullying Tosha. And if he's going to go low, they're going to go lower. And just, like, I don't even disagree with it as a principle. Obviously, I'm not condoning the publication of Alan's children's folk. They're 21 years old, these people. Like, they're grown-ups. 21, they're, but, like... We've gone from Alan taking responsibility because maybe it's because of something I did. And now, no, these fucking other bastards are all bastards and everyone else is a chuffer. Like, wow. And it's a pity party. Please give him money. Try and take me to court. But I've got to feel something happened, right? They were in my chat thanking me. One minute. Delusional. And then I'm the worst person in the world. And like, I'm tormenting them. But I haven't said a word about the case yet. They're still tormented by me now. They're tormented by me now. They're raising money today to come and get me now. What happened, happened, and the legal process will take some time. But you have defamed them, and you are getting your just desserts. No. Why? Because of everything you did and said. I don't get it. No? That's the problem. Now, there was a channel called Genetic Code. And for the first time in my life, I put a comment under uh I'd love to see this. I watched this. It was fucking awful. So Genetic Code teamed up with another person called Salty Bitch. And they both streamed, like, Salty Bitch did a stream and Genetic Code restreamed it. I so never wanted to say his name. I never... These are just fucking the vilest of the... I oh, think Bin Bin. It's basically American Bin Bin. Like, they're just vile, horrible people that just talk a load of shit. So, like, it's the... It's the, um... The skeletal remnants of the worst people of the truth of community or something. Like, look, there's that one of these... I'm not even going to bring up the idiots. Forget it. Um, but Armchair Detective has left a comment here. I went and watched this one on Salty Bitch's actual channel. And uh, I left my comments there. I haven't reviewed if anyone's replied to them. So um, I've put Osama bin Laden is Al-Qaeda, not ISIS. Can't you get anything right? Because they were getting a lot of things wrong. Um, I'm not upset with Val. You need to stop listening to hearsay. Uh, this one person was bang wrong with a gang of people to hurt. Like they were saying that I've organized a gang of people to go and hurt Alan. Like they're listening to the things Alan says and they're getting into that. Um, bang wrong about the poker thing. I never said I would, like they'd saying that I would turn up at his poker games and harass him. I never said that, did I? I said I would enter the tournaments and play him. You heard me say that. So they're getting things wrong. They've replied to it. 
or I've replied to it. They're saying, oh, boring, zuh, zuh, zuh. They don't want to hear the truth. Uh, and they were wrong about this. I'm just correcting them where they're wrong, yeah? This one's got some replies. Uh, they say that I'm into conspiracy theories. I'm not into conspiracy theories. They talk a lot of rubbish. And wouldn't it have been better if you put all you had to say in one comment? Keep coming back with comments, mate. You look desperate for attention. No, as I was listening to it, I was just commenting. I think that's fine. So... <laughs> I don't think I'm desperate for their attention. They're fucking nutters. This is, person's got 700 subscribers and this video has got a thousand views and it's just fucking nuts. You don't even need to listen to it. It's just fucking nuts. They're just like horrible. I don't know why Lizzie Heidi High Taylor's friends with them as well. They are fucking nutters. One of the things they said about it was this is like their Saturday night out. So it seemed a bit, ugh. But Alan's been talk like they they just bitch about everyone. They just fucking, like they're called salty bitch and they just lay into everyone. So, I didn't like it at all. I thought they were wrong in lots of different ways. Either Problem's their friend. Like, Either Problem is allowed to comment on Alan's stuff and be there, even though every other troll gets blocked. So, Either Problem's obviously, you know, an insider in some way. And Alan has apparently commented. So, let's go to the one that Alan commented I on. I never wanted to say A little brief bit of this. You've got to go and have it done. He said, I don't believe in him. I said, well, go ahead. Sorry. Was doing and, and and the hurt that he was causing victims and and I and, and they go on about Alan from like five years ago. You know they're like stuck in the past and they're just like this is their thing. They're not good. None of that. Like you can make your own judgment, but I would basically say there's not much point in listening to it. It's fucking diabolical, dire, tri dire tribe. So here's Alan and he's left a comment. Yes, it's the real AD. I need to put you right on one point. Denim organised a gang to come on a poker live stream on a feature TV table. So they're getting things wrong about his story. Um, but then Alan's the sort of person that would make a lie about it, say, and then later on when they correct it, he'd say, I never said that. I said the truth. But So it's just this correction of some bollocks. Oh no, look, fucking hell, look, he's written all this. There's 32 replies. Oh, I can't be asked with this. This is exactly the sort of stuff I can't be asked with, to be honest. Oh, look, Scott went too far. That's on him, not us. I went too far. They're arguing him about stuff. The damn police are too slow. I have to protect my family. He wrote a song yesterday, Sex Abusing My Girls. Right, I will take that as a screenshot. <laughs> And therefore, I need to copy that and put it in the folder. Just give me one second. Okay. No, they don't like me either. Enough, enough says the super idiot crossed the line. Uh, like... I don't care about any of these people or anything they say. Alan seems to. Genetic code talks in capitals at the start of every letter because they're a fucking idiot. Um, like Alan's trying to explain it in comments, like trying to make himself seem better in mass. He's trying to retcon the past, essentially, and say, no, I never said this. I was trying to do good things. So I never said that. I was trying to do good things. But... Right, you need to public admit the problem is yourself and everything you've done on YouTube. You're not a detective. You're not an investigator. Look at this. Alan says, way over the top. I can't work out left from right. I get lost in car parks. I can't spell word over five letters. Well, I'm not thick or miss any school. It's a condition. Nothing to do with God. Your hate becomes you. Your anger is fine. I hope you feel better now, but I'm not going to do anything you command. Really, you know that piece. And he's got the space between the commas there. Uh, no, it's just a load of bollocks, isn't it? It's just a load of bollocks. So we've got, we've got that if you wanted. I mean, it's tiresome bollocks. The channel doesn't like me. First time I ever did it, right? And I expected to be targeted. I expected to be targeted by this. I know what they all hate. So what are you doing it for then, Alan? You've got a voice, you've got a channel. Why are you in their chat leaving? I suppose, why am I in their chat correcting things as well? I didn't do it on genetic codes. I did it at the source, but um, these people are fucking idiots. I don't know why I even bothered, to be honest, thinking back on it.
hate me, right? But it's been mixed. It's been mixed. You can go to it. It's called Genetic Code. Um, salty Bitch or something. Live thing. Anyway, so some of them are really giving me bad, bad. <laughs> but on Big ups, Jamie. On the whole, they're being fairly human. Compared to... What he means is... They're on his side about Super Chuffer went too far. They think that the small stuff. Oh, you said he was a paedophile and he's not a paedophile, and that you, you it's too bad. You, you shouldn't. You cross the line by saying he's a paedophile, but like they're completely fucking up their own heads, up their own asses about the whole thing. So I, I really don't care what they say. Bin Bin's now in his chat as Irish. She's there in his chat as Irish. <laughs> uh, it's like a load of nutters. The Super Chuffer and grumpy granny they're being human about it and I, I wanted to converse with them because they i wanted to put right some of the lies you know that they've got in their head because they've heard it so many times the lies that they think it's the truth that's gaslighting you're describing and that's how you operate like for instance uh what's the lie they thought of oh dm didn't come to your poker game i know he didn't <laughs> he came into the live chat so Exactly like this thing with me. Oh, he didn't Photoshop the actual video. He Photoshopped the thumbnail. I was always talking about the thumbnail. This is called moving the goalposts. So Alan is going to go and wreck on the past in comments and try and shift the goalposts around so that, no, I didn't. I was this. Oh, no, I did. it's just a load of bollocks. Manipulation trying to get him out of weird shit. And they're saying you made it up. Oh, he wasn't there. I know he wasn't there. He was in my live chat. And he docks the hotel I was at. So... You doxed the hotel you're at, and also everyone knew which hotel you're at because there was only one hotel that was doing the poker packages. I like that. I was able to put a few things right, you know. And they were saying I was earning millions, and I put them right on that, and it was nice. And some of them were quite respectable about it, you know. But there's, some of them were like, oh, get off YouTube. Don't the thing is, he's arguing with the... Like, the reason I haven't been back to check those comments that I left and, like, give a shit about what people say, I'm happy to correct them as I was listening to the thing. I'd occasionally make a couple of corrections. You know, Osama bin Laden was not ISIS. He was Al-Qaeda. Like, they don't even know the basics of basic shit. Uh, bin Bin had to... When I was on her stream that once, she was straw-manning me. I told her she was straw-manning me. She had to go and look it up. Um, like, they're idiots. So why is Alan wasting time with these idiots? I'll tell you why. It's because they're part of the truth of the community and they're going to go on his side and be mean to me. He thinks these trolls, people like Bin Bin and these idiots, he thinks those trolls, the salty bitch, if he can get them on his side against me and they already don't like Super Chuffle, let's push them at Super Chuffle, let's utilise them. And I, in some way, he's wasting his time in their car. Like, you saw how much... Like, you saw how these... Co Look at this. Who's writing this? This. Look at it. Who's doing this? In today's day and age. Like, if I get, uh, no offence to anyone, right? If people leave me nice comments this long, I don't fucking read them all. Because look at it. People writing essays. <laughs> What's going on? But he's happy with that. That's a good bit of work for Alan there. They know that I'm not going to get off YouTube because they say so. But I wanted to give them a chance to speak to me. And they're still saying, I said I was in MI5. I was in, I wasn't in MI5. He did say he was in MI5. And then when he got called out on it, he pretended it was a joke. And it's the same thing of shifting the goalpost and retcon in the past. Go ahead. God. MFI. They don't want to believe it, right? They don't want to believe it. They, they, try, they say I'm pretending I was in the British Secret Service. I've never been in this MI5. No, we know you've never been in it, but you did pretend. But those are the things I can't help, can I? I try. I try. You can't change because they're recorded and they're public. I try. I try. But now my head hurts, really, because today was a nightmare. I don't like to see young women distressed, especially... But you distress young women on your channel consistently over this period of five years. Actually, one of my daughters. You just, it's you, I isn't it, Alan? Like it's about you. Hear them like that. I bet these had to hear them. I bet that would be something we never got to hear, is it? I'd love to be involved in, you know, fly on the wall in those conversations. It shouldn't frighten young. I say they're young. You may not think they're young. I think they're young. They're not young. And also, no one's frightening them. You. I wouldn't wish that on anybody's daughters. So why don't you just stop making your horrible content on YouTube then and disappear, and then it would all just stop? 
Irish, I'd love to know about his past. Right, so what's happened here is in the comments, Irish, who is obviously Bin Bin, yeah, has written, I'm hearing some pretty bad things about his past that I won't repeat without proof, because obviously if you repeat them without proof, then it's slander, and there is no proof of anything bad things in my past, because, and she's not hearing anything. Like, who's she hearing it off? What are you on about? You don't know anyone that I know, and if you did, like, they're not going to be saying anything bad about me. So it's just a fucking slander in itself to sort of put the idea out, see the idea. Irish, I'm hearing some pretty bad things about him in his past that I won't repeat without proof. However, it sounds like he has no right to talk about anyone. This is Bin Bin, and she's a fucking nutter, okay? Like, full nutter. So I would ignore that completely. But Alan's going to jump on it and be like, yeah, that helps me, so I'm going to be into that. Like, Alan's... An, I, like, you are an idiot to ally yourself with these idiots. Like... The bitch stream, the bin bin stream, all of them idiots. Like, you're an idiot and it's desperate moves. If anybody knows anything about his past, what has he done? I don't know. He Alan doesn't know anything because there isn't... Like, I'm an open book, essentially. I'll tell you all about my past. I've made videos in the past talking about my past. But there's nothing bad to, to dip, like dig up and throw at me. So that's okay. And Alan would love to know about my past, but he knows nothing because he's not a detective, isn't he? An Irish, whoever the fuck that is doesn't either he's like he's come into this community and they shouldn't have brought him in but they did it DM and no one brought me in i made my content about nicola bully and then alan stole some of it and plagiarized the rest and that's what's brought me into attacking him but that's it i don't no, nothing else and nobody's pushing me and backing me it's just fucking weird delusion that brought him in fed him false information but what did they bring in they brought in a monster Give me the monster. He's obsessed with murderous sex. He's obsessed. Right. I, I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm not obsessed with murderous sex. <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed, but I haven't talked about murder on my channel before Nicola Bullish. Sex I'll talk about sometimes. I don't tend to combine the two. But if you look at Alan's content, <laughs> then the two are combined quite often. It's with murderous sex. Murderous sex. And his mind's full of it. And he projects it onto me. It's the reverse. He's projecting the same thing for six years. But he's like armless compared to Battery Boy. Yes. But I feel sick sick to the core about what, he's, what they've done to my daughters today. Man. I haven't done anything. You know, it's like writing songs about them. Posting pictures of them. Okay. I did the Alan, Alan's daughter, I'll take you to New York and I'll buy you a nice dinner. I did that. But it's weird to wrap that in with what Grumpy Granny did. It's a separate thing, but yeah. Causing her to get threats. No one's done that. Making them worried. No one's done that. Pity party this is. I guess they will say it's, I'm getting a dose of my own medicine. They have said that. I don't remember me threatening any family, do you? I don't know. I don't remember anyone threatening yours. But this woman's a teacher. Grumpy Granny. And she is in Patreon now. She has, she has my Patreon and she puts the link around to the trolls, right? Oh, block her then, you fucking idiot. <laughs> she gives my Patreon away. That woman, Grumpy Granny, she is a patron though, somehow, and she gives away my links, so they watch me. Would you like that we're watching you? Irish, if you could give me some information on that, I'd appreciate it. Irish, if you could give me, feed me information. Like, this is what Bin Bin, what Bin Bin would, is loving this, because she's the sort of nutter that would, is love, like, she's fucking slated Alan till the cows come, well, till her own self comes home maybe <laughs> no. but like she's been slating Alan for years like really and she says such vile things you know talking about what vile things come out of vile people's minds like Alan suggests Bin Bin is fucking something else I think it's all the cocaine but uh Alan like if he's gonna listen like this is a real it's like a poison chalice it's like a ice bridge. Like she's going to feed him information and he's going to utilize it. And who's his source? Bin Bin. Brilliant. Brilliant. So he's going to say some really exotic, really fucked up stuff on the foundations of nothing. It's going to get sick and weird. Bin Bin's going to pull his strings from inside. Fucking like she's going to love that. 
Alan's gonna like she was calling Alan. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't listen to her at all. I, I can't. There's no time in my life for that rubbish. But Alan's going to the fucking bottom of the dirtiest well here, isn't he? Like, and they're offering him a. Oh, it's so savage. It's almost like Game of Thrones level, you know, getting in with the bad crew because it's trying to. He's on his desperation tactics. Weird. It's going to end in well, tears. She said, the, "The gloves are coming off." She said, "Granny." I don't know why she's so annoyed, but the gloves are coming off. Uh she specifically told you why she was so annoyed, Alan. So you do know it's because you were bullying women on your channel. I'm going to um, expose your family. Well, it's backfired in the face that part one has been taken off already. God knows if part two comes up, we've got to deal with that tomorrow, I suppose. But they should, those poor girls shouldn't have to deal with this. They shouldn't be asleep now in trepidation about what's coming next from Grumpy Granny. No, so you should just stop with your bullshit, Alan, and not put them through this. How dare you? Grumpy Granny's a school teacher. I have to explain to my family... Uh, I'm sorry they put up pictures of your two-year-old child. They know not what they do. They know not what they do. That language, man. The language of Jesus Christ himself. What can I say? They're mad. What can I say? I've seen loads of high-profile crazies on the table. I mean, you could say it's your fault for angering them with your horrible behaviour, but you won't say that to your daughters, will you? Lately, lately. I haven't seen anybody's children. Uh, people's children are on, like, oh, just don't even start me. I don't like, see anybody go as low as go for their children. Alan, your content is made up of other people's children. The deaths of the Watts, the whole Watts stuff is predicated on the deaths of someone else's children. Like, Madeleine McCann was a big feature on your channel, wasn't it? Other people's children. You actually doxed Nicola Bully's children at one point, didn't you? Like, this is fucked up. What possessed her to go for my children? She took you doing your dirty tactics and flipped it on its head and said, right, well, if he's going to go dirty, what's gonna, what can I do that really piss him off that's a bit below the belt? And then she did it. And all's fair in love and war. And I... You did it, Alan. I keep repeating this. If Alan stopped making his content, she's literally said, Grumpy Granny, it will all go away if he stops making his content. It's not as if she's going to get, like, praise from anybody. It's not, she doesn't require praise from anybody, does she? As if the video is going to stay off. But what I tell you the thing, for you, for you to think, my my inner circle. Where did she get these pictures from? Because she got them herself off Facebook because they were publicly available. She sings all the way through it. These are public information. That anybody someone's told her. I can only think that someone's given these pictures as a job lot. And she's got others, but she's going for. S today, she's going to go for K tomorrow. He's referring to his two children there, S and K. And uh, you can only assume that she's doing this. Well, you're only assuming then based on your own paranoia and delusion. Because what seems more likely is that she went on the internet and found the pictures. So she's been given a job lot of pictures of my family. And she thinks they're in the common domain. They're not. All my all my family is closed down now because of me. That sounds fun. So anything she puts up tomorrow, I'll get taken down again. Yeah, you can. They can. The videos can possibly be taken down, but once they're up, they cause you all this irritation and damage, don't they? So uh, she's doing the work anyway. And Facebook own the pictures, don't they? If you upload them to Facebook, I think Facebook own the. No, I think you hand over some of your rights. I don't know. You'd have to look into it. But who gave him her? No one. She Who's got my Facebook. Supplier? Mark Zuckerberg. Who got in all our videos in 2019 and what? collected the pictures, ready to do this today? What? Who is it that gave them to her? What? She didn't get them herself. No. Because she's under the impression they're all from the public domain. Whereas I know they're not. But they were. The odd one is. Like S's um, profile picture. If you go to a Facebook, you always get a profile picture, don't you? All the rest of her stuff is private. Well, it wasn't private because she got access to it and took it and put it on the fucking pictures. Like, if it was always private, how's anyone got... Like, you sh are you sure that Grumpy Granny didn't exist in 2019? Who gave her this? I could make a guess. I might be wrong. I would say the person that did it begins with L. I've got no idea who he's talking about. 
because L was the one that put up my Facebook page of the source, the so-called entertainment agency that never was. Well, there's a link. And I know when L stole that, it was 2019. And all the pictures of my daughter are 2019. So I've got a suspect. I have got a suspect. I don't think it was Diem. Lizzie. You've got to think who had the pictures, who was spreading. You've got to think who was. So what he's trying to do is, because Lizzie was one of these, if it's Lizzie, yeah, then she's one of the people that's involved in this conversation here. There she is. And he's sucking up to them and trying to wreck on the truth and trying to uh, create allies out of enemies because they're enemies of mine. Well, they see me as their enemy. They don't. Well, what I, I don't know. Enemies is a funny word. I, I think of them as just a fucking bunch of nutters, and they think of me as someone they don't like at all, who came into the truth of scene, didn't know anything about anything, and then called Alan a paedophile, which is totally wrong. And I, yeah, don't care about what any of them think. Yeah, but if he's going to now have a, he's going to pass on this idea about the daughters thing to Lizzie, but she's on this panel, so it's like with one hand he giveth, the other he slappeth. Like, what a weird thing to do. But yeah, he's going to say that Lizzie's the one. Like, so now he can tarnish two people. And one of these people that he's tarnishing is purely in his own delusional mind. But yeah. Spreading the source Facebook page. Because that's Facebook, right? In 2019. I'll leave you with that. And that'll be your answer to where Grumpy Granny got it. In my opinion. But she's not done herself any good. Because I'll just check her comments now. Now, is she still in bed? Because she hasn't said a word yet. The narcissism of him to think that he could do a live stream and Grumpy Granny will immediately be on YouTube reacting to it. The narcissism. One word. And she's not deleted any text. Uh, most recent one. Um, you're not normal. You need help. Disgusting behaviour involving kids. So he's going to read the negative comments on Grumpy Granny's video. And again, I can totally understand the side of the coin where it says... And I've said it myself, Alan Vinicom's children are not responsible for his behaviour. And I personally have not researched and produced videos about Alan's children. They're not a feature of my content. I did that silly song about his daughter, because he keeps going on about his daughter. And I did that thing when someone in the chat said, oh, his daughter's in chat. And I said, no, she's not. Don't be stupid. And if she was, I'd say this. But other than that, it's not a big feature. And he makes a massive thing out of it. So people know, like, Grumpy Granny knows that this is going to really get him out. Like... In some way, you've got to consider that Alan is on YouTube and is fighting this war of public personality. And, and it, it's about the small number of people that will still watch him. He's got basically possibly 100, 200, the, uh, another 100 or so watch out of curiosity. You know, when he does a live stream, he's not pulling in the big numbers. And then after that, maybe you'll get up to 2,000 actual people who are actually watching his stuff. So it's about those people and whether in the future there will be more added to that or whether those people will dwindle and, and drift away and whether his core group will ever turn their back on him, right? So there's that going on and it's a battle of public perception and we've completely won it because if anyone turns up to Alan's channel in today's day and age, if anyone goes and has a look at what Armchair Detective is doing and, you know, tunes into this, it's a shit show and they won't be interested. So no new people are going to come and join in here. The only people who are being exposed to him are through us. <laughs> and his content is garbage and it's troll stuff about us. And more and more people are coming over to our stuff. And like, if you want to read comments, check on our most recent lives about the comments from people who have seen him for what he is and left. So the more that new people don't go in and old people start to drift away, this, this thing shrinks. And eventually it just becomes his core group, like these ones who are on his patron. Sorry. His patron, it's... it's the core group and and no one knew and you know it's whether they can physically financially sustain him and ego massage him and keep it going or not and then whether we can get to those people and change their minds is a much much more difficult prospect but I'm not going to give up on it you know but bot bottom line we've won that war of public perception because he is now publicly perceived as a lol cow potentially a SO sex offender now, you know potentially that the stuff with the kids looks awful. The stuff where he's saying that he searched the internet for child porn sounds awful. I've never been arrested. They've checked my computer. I've done nothing wrong. There is no child porn on the internet. I hate to warn you that. There is no child porn on the internet. I checked. Because I wanted to know if Bundy was right. There is no 
child porn on the internet. So, you know, that sounds awful. Like, I think we've won that battle in terms of new people going to his stuff. And the other way to win that battle is for us to go on and create a great channel on Super Chuffer and just keep going. And it's already happening. So he's going to see that and that's going to irk him. He's going to get more and more frustrated and wound up with the small small stuff he's doing, the small potatoes. And he's going to look at the old numbers and think, oh, I need, you know, I want to get back to this. I need this stuff. And he's going to wait and he's going to lurk and hope that somebody murders their kids or some shit and that he can get on that. And then when that doesn't work, because at the moment he's always got that, he can always say, well, there are these waves, you know, the Madeleine McCann thing, the Chris Watts thing, the Nicola Bully thing, they, they come in waves. And when the next one hits, I'll be right on it. And, you know, the next big case. But when that doesn't work and the other channels that he's abused and maligned over the time go on and do that better, uh, he's really going to be in a bit of a position then because he'll have to face, like, at the moment he can still say, numbers are low, but we just haven't got the right case, you know. But it's going to become this dwindling small small show like you know they've been around together for a long time some of these nutters haven't they in his chat and all that so that's a harder nut to crack but whether it's enough for alan i don't know yeah um you're a sick person anita pretty girls but you're crazy a few weeks ago i saw a couple of channels posted a new picture of that guy in the lawsuit they were cheering them on you're all crazy you all go too far now, this is negative towards Grumpy Granny for posting the pictures of his kids. But I was saying, like, so bringing back to that point is that... Like, I don't know if you've... I mean, she, Granny is probably quite well read and she probably has read The Art of War. And there are other books which I'm not going to reference because I don't want to put the information in Alan's hands. But there are, there are several books that can teach you quite a lot about, you know, human interaction. Alan thinks he knows, like, a toolbox of tricks on how to manipulate people. But they're narcissist tricks and they don't work. And the psychology he does works on the vulnerable, but not everyone. Whereas the things I know, and now I'll reveal some of them, like the art of war is not that complex really, but uh, applying it is quite complex, you know, understanding it and applying it. And what Nanny's done, Grump Grumpy Granny's done here, I'm not gonna tell exactly which part of the, you know, the ancient texts it applies to, but what she's done here is she's made him really cross and she's thrown something at him that he didn't expect. So he's reactive and thrown, and he's now worried about what next video, because she said part one, that was really smart of Grumpy Granny, part one, because he's now worried about what's coming next. And this has made Alan unable to actually do what he needs to do. So it was a very good move. Like, bottom line, it's, it's not, you know, his children are not fair game, so to speak, in this conflict. Like we're arguing about what he's saying and doing on the internet and they're not on the internet saying or doing it. So bottom line that. But Alan doesn't live by those rules. He'll dox you. If he, if he had pictures of someone else's children, he, you know, oh, I, would, oh, I haven't done this, I haven't done that. Listen, Alan dox my fucking parents in my chat. Like in his chat. Like it's just, like Alan wouldn't think about the lows. He'd just do it under a fake name or some shit. At least Grumpy Granny did it in her own name. Um, so it's, not the most ethical move. It's not the most... Uh, honourable move. And I do believe in these things, ethics and honour. But I also believe that when you're fighting someone like Alan, winning is the most important thing. <laughs> and this move by Grumpy Granny doesn't end him. It's not a coup de grace. But it totally throws him into conflagrations. And he's dancing to her tune now. You know, last week he named her as the head of the gang. This week she's pulling his strings. So there's a lot of things that are good about it in terms of a conflict. But, you know, ethics and morals are not the good things. But the other things are effective. So, you know, in, in some ways I'm like, go on, grumpy granny, do another one, cheering her on like he says. I would love for her to do more of those videos. Uh, if you said to me, would you make one of those videos? I'd say no. At this stage, now, as things are, no. But for Grumpy Granny to do it, I'm quite happy. I'm not watching it go on. Like, I can't, you know, it's like Mike Tyson bit that guy's ear off. I didn't bite it off. I mean, I didn't cheer him on in that moment. But, like, do you know what I mean? It's like, wow, you just sort of watch, don't you? You go, wow, fucking hell. This is a bit extra. Um, Star Ray says, the other thing on that statement is there's no child porn on the internet. Everyone knows that's a lie. Yeah. 
doesn't explain why he admits searching for it. No, exactly. It just totally incriminates him. Like he incriminates himself with his own language because he's guilty of things and guilty people incriminate themselves with their own language, I guess. Yeah. LEF, are you employed in the education system? You forget how our laws work in Australia. And he wants to create this real outrage about Grumpy Granny, which points away from him and the things he's done. This old bag and neat. And we all knew that like, when we saw Grumpy Granny's video, we knew that he was going to do this. But in some ways, so what? Like, you're giving him ammunition so he can do this. Yeah, but in some ways, so what? Like, his response is predictable. And the people that it works on are a small segment of people. So it doesn't mean that we're all bad and that Alan's won because Grumpy Granny did something like below the belt. It doesn't mean that at all. It puts him even further on the ropes and worried. And it highlights the fact that he wouldn't respond by taking down his content to protect his family. You know? Kennedy needs to be reported to the school where she works. She's jealous, nasty, foul mouth. Imagine the crazy, this crazy C teaching children. This is de disgusting behavior. You stupid woman. I mean, I'll ask you a different question, right? Because Grumpy Granny perceived him to be bullying women. So you're in a bar and some guy's bullying women. I'm not going to go any further than that. You know, imagine it. Like, it's not nice, is it? Like, you know, I'm not going to describe violence because I don't want to. I haven't got that sick mind like Alan has. But imagine someone's doing that. Like, are you all right to pick up an ashtray or something and smash him with that? Should I hit him with the pool cue? Or do you want me to arrange a fair fight in the car park with rules and a, a, only punch me above the head? Like, they're in the bar bullying the women. Like, what do you think I should do? I should just step in and fucking... Like, if I have to hit them with the chair, I'll hit them with the chair, won't I? Like, it's not fair. Or oh, you use a weapon, or oh, bad. I'm not saying I'm, like, going to be a murderer and stab someone up, but, like... You want to win that fight, don't you? Because you're angry because they're bullying the women. And you think if you're going to bully the women, then it's no holds barred, is it? Because you're bullying the women. And I'm not being sexist, but this is what's happening here in in angry, sorry, grumpy granny's mind. Is that he sees her bullying the women and she's infuriated and she wants to clart him with the chair. So the children are just getting like sort of brought in as collateral damage in a way. But they're grown up women. And it adds this extra leverage where they, like, if Alan's daughters see it, they can either say, well, Grumpy Granny's a total asshole, so I, I'm sorry, Dad, that you're having to go through this. Or they could say, Dad, what have you done to make this woman so angry on the internet that they're publishing our pictures? Do you think you might moderate your behaviour, Dad? Because this woman in Australia seemed to have nothing to do with anything, and now she's really angry and publishing, like... Do you know what I mean? Dad's going to say, oh, it's just a troll and I get these trolls. But at some point, aren't his daughters going to be angry with him as well? So it adds this extra spice into the mix. And, uh, yeah, like, Alan himself has done this sort of thing himself. Like, he might say, I've never shown anyone's pictures of their daughters or stuff. Like, hasn't he, like, literally doxed people recently? So, like, it feels a bit rich to be, like, so enraged at Grumpy Granny. And again, Alan is just going to use it as like, oh, people are angry at Grumpy Granny. So they point everyone thing at Grumpy Granny this week and it deflects away from Alan. But uh, it doesn't wash with me, really. I understand that Grumpy Granny did something that was ignoble. But I think it's enough to say, wow, that was a bit below the belt. And then focus back on Alan instead of getting our egg on about Grumpy Granny for two weeks straight and forgetting about the main target. Why would you do this? Wrong, wrong, wrong. You go about this the wrong way. Leave people to another. What she fails to understand? And she looks like a man, doesn't she? Let's be honest. Whoa. So there's a lot of manly things about her. I don't know why Whoa. I say that, but she looks like a man to me. I'm pretty sure. Ad hominem attacks. I don't think she understands that most people on YouTube are women. And women care a lot about kids. Uh, Krull says, even if they're not minors, targeted the family goes too far, they've got nothing to do with his actions. Yeah, that's my that's my position on it, yeah. Um, I imagine if he did stuff with your parents, even if they're adults, it's too far. Yeah, he went too far when he docks my parents, yeah. Um, and I agree with that entirely. And again, I, it's going to be granny doing it, so I'm okay to sit there with my popcorn and watch and, and say how wonderful it is that he's so angry. But I'm not making those decisions to publish that stuff. So I, if people get eggy with me, because, oh, you're supporting grumpy granny, it's just... They all need to calm the fuck down, don't they? Um, uh, what did you just say then? That most people on YouTube are women. 
oh yeah, this most people on YouTube are women is incorrect, but most of his audience and the true crime audience are. And women care a lot about kids. That's true. This is something he's built his career off, is using things that the audience, women, find emotionally stirring, causes them to get emotionally stirred, and therefore watch more videos, click more things, maybe pay more monies. You know, he plays on that entirely. And that's his attacks on me. He's tried to level things. Uh, he knew that people were angry at him when he did Beaver Club and when he did his sick jokes all those years ago, which he's tried to stop doing. But because they were angry at that, he's picked those things out about me. He knows what they will be most upset about and he's tried to conjure things that make them, you know, and in some ways, when I showed those pictures of him singing with, or the kids of singing with him on Smule, then that's the same thing, isn't it? It's just the things that we brought out about him are fucking real. So they must have really affected his perception from his audience because those people care about stuff like that. And the problem Alan's got is he's trying to throw up, like, they really care about women and kids, so they're going to be angry about this one. Okay, yeah, but these daughters of yours are fully grown ups over 20, 21, over 21. Uh, and the kids thing is you and the stuff you're doing. And that's the bad thing. You said you searched on the internet for that stuff. So, like, they are going to be stressed by that, yeah. But yeah, manipulating women, says Star Ace. That is exactly, like, this is his thing that he does. He identifies and targets an audience. Like, he's so lucky the YouTube statistics gave him that ability to identify. And he probably thought a lot of these people, he probably, you know, does enough research to know that a lot of this audience are women. And that's his target vulnerable audience, older women. So he goes for that and he learns the manipulative techniques. Let's talk about chocolate. Let's talk about old things we used to watch on telly and then let's talk about dead children and now give me your monies and like you know he just thinks he's the suave armchair detective that they all swoon over stupid old ladies throwing their knickers at tom jones you know he's pathetic isn't he and to see a one-year-old doxed a one-year-old really has, has not been doxed a photograph of a one-year-old was included in one of those like there was a family photo and there was a child in it but they weren't doxed those people I know that some of my spanners would actually do some damage <laughs> at the moment in certain circumstances. What? And then one of them says, isn't this the same thing as he did to the R's? Well, let's discuss that. Is it the same? Did I do the same things to the R's? Let's discuss something that happened years ago that you're still bitter about and pissy about and people are still not allowing you to forget from the past. But let's pick and choose the comments that we discussed. Yeah, good one, Alan. No. Their family are public figures on Netflix. I wouldn't go and grab a private family and do what she's done to a private family. I can't do anything. To I'm not going to say that me and Alan are public figures because we're on YouTube, yeah? I'm not going to say that. And I'm not going to say... I do think that public figures like you know, Beyonce or David Beckham or whatever, like if they have kids, then people want to see their kids, don't they? And they want to know, like, you know, OK Magazine and all that, like the paparazzi, you know, that goes on. But I don't think me and Alan are in that echelon, and nor do I think the Rusex are. I think if they do a documentary on Netflix, it doesn't mean you've got good reason to just go digging about and saying whatever you want. I think that's a bit rich as well, isn't it? About the hours, it was all over TV, wasn't it? That's, it's just there. In the it's just domain. there. But my kids they are still real people, though, and you still have to make your own ethical decisions about what you do in your content. And you obviously try cross the line multiple times. The Netflix documentary is probably a little less uh, slanderous and libelous than your content, Alan, wasn't it? It's not in the public domain. They're far from it. They don't want to be involved in YouTube. None of them. But, of course, they've got to think of a way of allowing it, right? So, number one, so the threats to my daughter were fake, and they're not. Right, so this is, there was a thing sent to him, it's on his page here on the community post. This is a screenshot apparently that proves everything. And what it is, it says Lauren something Australia, are you related to that Tossa Alan, watch yourself. And it's quite possible that, because he blocked someone called Lauren something about two years ago. So this could be old, it could be to his daughter, it could be to somebody else. It might not be recent, and this might be not the way things look on your phone when you get these messages, I don't know, but it might be that he's cut and pasted this thing onto that thing or whatever. It's, it's not really proof of anything, and it doesn't prove that because Grumpy Granny made a video, someone's been targeted, or it's definitely nothing to do with me anyway, is it? 
and it's just a like a creepy you get blocked message and you don't know who the message is to but yeah like that's his proof of all this that he's going on about number two well it's in the public domain no they're not number three ad deserves it what do they deserve it there is no effing excuse is there it's like saying i don't agree with something but right but is the word isn't it i don't agree with what you've done but ad deserves it i don't agree with what you've done but but is karma for ad see that's how they do it that's how they do it uh there is that you know there is nuance to things isn't there there is nuance the other thing that's interesting in chat talking about you know kids photos is that these photos are all off facebook and they were all publicly available on facebook that's how this woman got hold of them so bottom line is they've put them on Facebook, the, the owners of the photos have put them on there, so they've come around in this way, that's their choices I guess. Uh, Grumpy Granny has shared them on her YouTube channel, but she only has like 600 views on the video, it's not like the end of the world, it's just a video of someone's photo, like she hasn't said anything, just put the photographs up, you know, she had a comment about one of them, but like, um, and this thing about but, like there are buts and ifs and uh, like that's exactly what he was doing in his comments with those people was mitigating and yeah but I, I said it was Photoshop but only the you know he, there's all this mitigation with him and his his world and when things are nuanced and there are other things to say like, I think it's bad but he is getting back what he did to other people that is a fair comment isn't it well it's not in the public domain and I'm I'm sad that she hasn't woken up in time to see what I've said tonight. Grumpy Granny. I mean, she must be asleep because she hasn't made a comment. That's narcissism, to assume that someone would immediately respond, and he's angry that she's not immediately responded. Well, it, must be, it must be great if you're having a text message back and forth with Alan, mustn't it? It must be great getting a text off Alan and realising that if you don't respond within like five minutes, he's going to get well eggy. Like, wow. I doesn't know is that a video is going to be taken down. I have, a, I have the, I have the proof. I'll, I'll show you guys. Drum roll, please. I have the proof that the video is coming down anyway. So she's wasted her time putting it off because it's got to come down. What's that noise in the background? I didn't quite get it on the camera. That the video is that coming noise? down anyway. So she's wasted her time putting it off because it's got to come down. It's like a child crying. I don't know what that noise is, but I thought it was going to be traffic, but there's like a child crying. Can you hear that? I'm putting it off, it's got to come down. It sounded like water being run on a tin or metal surface and a child crying. I'm putting it off, it's got to come down. It's something to do with his sound. Like, well, Alan doesn't wear headphones, so instead what he does is he puts a strong noise filter on his microphone. So you don't hear the background noise and you can hear things. And whatever that was, was coming through the noise filter. Time. Putting it off because it's got to come down. I mean, that's just weird. I didn't quite get it on the camera last time, but I might be it. There, it's quite clear that it... Good one, yeah. Hi, Alan. Thanks for contacting the YouTube support team. Here's a reference for your complaint. To give the uploader a chance to remove their video, they've notified it. If they give them 48 hours to, to act on the complaint, if they remove it, then the complaint is closed. Or if it remains on the site after 48 hours, they, conclude, they can review it by the YouTube team and then it will be reviewed and it will take a while because they get high volume. And if you want to cancel your claim, you can. So if YouTube will choose to review it, the video is still up, says Jamie. I mean, YouTube will choose to review it. Doesn't mean it's getting taken down. It's been taken down. She has 48 hours to take it down herself. Otherwise, YouTube are going to take it down. But definitely a scream, says Star Rays. Maybe neighbours as children on holidays. This was done at like one in the morning. 
or like 12 in the morning after his main stream so it's late at night and like too late at night for kids to be out of bed and also uh like you know i was saying earlier about the kids in the back garden like i'm in a different room and it's daytime and they've got a bouncy castle but um like the kids in the back garden of the neighbor's back garden beyond night like, i find it a bit strange that at, you know possibly midnight you'd be hearing that i don't know what it's from and i don't know what the prelude sound is it wasn't a normal traffic sound again it was like water being showered on a like metallic surface or something it was a strange noise either way it's coming down so i could assure my children tonight that that video is coming down within 48 hours but that's all i can assure so for but if you did that you'd be lying because they didn't reassure you of that they didn't that's not what it said in the, the thing alan so i don't know why you'd say that to them two days those pictures of those poor children are going to be off for two days unless she comes to her senses and takes it down at first. She has a choice to leave it there or take it down. She has no support. Well, she doesn't need any support. She's just somebody acting alone on the internet. None. Out of how many comments? Um, I've got it here. A lot of comments. Out of 106 comments, she got seven that support her. Well, then she's got some support, hasn't she, you asshole? The other hundreds call her sick. And that's in her own subscribers. Yeah, but she's not... Like, Grumpy Granny doesn't need to win a battle of public perception with Alan. She just needs Alan to throw his toys out the pram, to ruin his own content, to go on like this. Like... It, it, I don't even, like, I know what she's done, right? Out of all of her content, she's done this one thing that people are unhappy with. I don't throw her in the bin either, just because of that. Like, I'm open-minded. She was really angry, and he's been bullying women that she loves. So, like, she's done something that's a bit over the edge, but, like, you know, crimes of passion and all that. I just, I just feel like I give her a bit, not a free pass, but, you know, I give her a bit of calm down time and see if, she, you know, See how things go. I'm not going to be like writing her off. But Alan's keen on the idea that lots of other people are angry at her. Lost in the ideas, you know, lost in it, lost in the the interplay of it. So she has no excuse. It's almost like, you know, like Zav girl did something that was. She sold pictures of a child's autopsy. Uh, on defensive, indefensible. She's done something indefensible. She can't win this. It's different. The children that Zavgirl published or sold the pictures of were dead and under a like they were that was a kid and it was underage. Like the uh, publication of Alan's daughter's Facebook pictures that she's over the age of 21 and I suppose she was younger than maybe 19 in some of them, I don't know. What did you say, 2019 was the year? I don't know, she was over the age of 21 and like, she's not dead. So there is a bit of a difference. I Indefensible. Okay, I can understand what he's saying. You know, most of us wouldn't have made that decision, but does she need to defend it? Like, is it, are we all attacking her now? I'm not, I don't know about everyone else on the internet but I'm not I she put up a school picture of a class now here's a point right is a lot of the people that are attacking especially with the truth of community I'm not naming any names but a lot of the people in the truth of community said their piece on what she did but like it's not their job to make her content like if she was doing something really awful I'd be you know like with Alan we all step in and say obviously you shouldn't be doing this Alan you chuffer this is bad but like with things that are in a bit of a, I don't want to even say grey area, I think it's worse than a grey area, but like, okay, it's not my choice, I didn't do it, I wouldn't do it, but should I go on everyone's comments on all their channels and tell them how to make their content and what they should and shouldn't do? And should I be going around as the ethics police on YouTube? In some way, that's what we do with Alan, I suppose, so in some way I have to put my hands up and say, yes, we should. But uh, in other ways, like, you have to pick and choose, like, if I was, if I wanted to, if I wanted to spend my time deciding on who's done the most uh, distasteful and over the line YouTube videos and arguments, then I could, I suppose, spend my time looking into that. I, I suppose a lot of people got this in their inbox and they thought it wasn't on. I see both sides of that, I suppose.
Yeah. Class. Every one of those parents should complain. Yeah. She's a sick one, Nana. She is that. Someone's got to do something. I don't know who can. Well, you have because you've reported it to YouTube and then YouTube can do it because they can look into it. But I'm certainly contacting the police tomorrow. The police for the offence of maybe harassment? About her involvement with Shuffer. Oh. I'm going to report them. The <laughs> oh, this is going to get good. He's going to contact the police to tell them that this woman on the internet in Australia has put up pictures of his child from Facebook that she got off her public Facebook. And that obviously Super Chuffer is being brought into this now and he's involved. <laughs> what are the police going to think? Well done, thanks for sorting out the armchair detective case of I had fucking nothing to do with it, what are you going on about? Like, what? What? About her involvement with Chuffer. I'm going to report them, both of them. Thanks. That they're in cahoots, you know. And between them, they've caused havoc to my children. They have. And there is no excuse. And like I said, I mean it. I'm going to make a citizen's arrest. If they don't do something, I'm going to make a citizen's arrest. It He's going to make a citizen's arrest on me. And like I said, I mean it. I'm going to make a citizen's arrest. If they don't do something, I'm going to make a citizen's arrest. It is legal, right? To <laughs> Kaka, look it up. Citizen's at best arrest. Is it legal in England? Citizen's at best. Is it legal? Kaka, can you Google that? To make a citizen's arrest. Because he's only a little weed. He's like five foot two. Six stone. I'll pick it. What's six stone? First of all, let's do what's six stone. Because I know what I weigh generally. Um, well, I know I weigh 12, no, 13, don't I? Like, what's my fighting weight? And what do I actually weigh? There's a difference. Because you cut off all that, like, you know, I've got my torso. We talked about this. I've got my torso. You cut off that bit when you train a little bit. That just So you drop a little bit for fighting weight. Um, but like, I'm obviously double that. I think I'm 13 stone, and I mean, I'm not like a big heavy chuffer, but I'm 13 stone. I've got a tape measure here because I'm measuring up the curtains to get green screen curtains. So I've got a tape measure here. So I'm just, I'm, you can see I'm not even cheating. I just stand up. Well, you can't see I'm not cheating. There's my feet. And why would I cheat? Let's do it up to my head. I don't know how much I am. I'm 5'10", no, I'm 5'11". I cheated a little bit to get myself to 5'11". I cheated a little bit. I mean, I'm wearing a hat, I don't know. 5'11". You'd love to see him. Yeah, it would be great for him to citizens arrest me, wouldn't it? I'd enjoy that. But they bring that on. Me and Alan brawling in the street because someone tried to put their hands on me. Like, touch me. <laughs> touch me, Alan. <laughs> see what happens. Him up with one hand. Is it is it legal to make a citizen's arrest in the UK? Is it is it legal to make stone the rest? Because he's only a little weed. He's like five foot two, six stone. I will pick him up with one hand. Big man. Big man. Let's do the boxing match. Let's do the boxing match. Why would you make these like? Aggressive threats if you're not prepared to follow through, Alan. Let's you and I do the boxing match. Let's do you and Luke versus me and my dad, right? I'll fight Luke and you can fight my dad. Boxing match for YouTube. Tag team style. Be awesome. We'll sell tickets, we'll make money. Uh, you can't, yeah, you obviously can't come and citizens arrest someone if they haven't committed an offence. It's just an offence in itself to come and grab hold of someone and uh, I think that would be, what is it, kidnapping or something like that. So if that happened, then I would immediately fight him. Uh, he'd not remember the words or say them right. There are, I don't think there are, like, I think you can just grab hold of someone and be like, citizens arrest, call the police, if they're doing some weird shit. But uh, if it's just because you're angry about someone in Australia put photographs of your daughter on a YouTube channel and in your mind you've become so deluded that you think in some way Super Chuffer has something to do with it, then I don't think you can come to my house and make an arrest. Is it is it legal to make a citizen's arrest in the UK? I don't know what mental disorder he has, but the police said he has problems. Look at this little face he does. Look at that face. Look at his creep face. You know his creep face. You know his creep face. Look at that. Classic Alan. Creepy bastard. 
taking a screenshots of these for the thumbnail for this video that we're going to cut off this. Um, Alan's a creepy bastard. The police obviously don't tell people that other people have problems. I mean, the police, what, what would the police have a record of my mental health for? Like, what would the police have a record? Like, what a weird thing to say. The police don't have my health records and I don't have problems. So it seems a little bit weird that he should like, but he's obviously doing the creep face. He's obviously, this is just weird manipulation for his followers, isn't it? He has problems and that's all they would tell me. And that's all they would tell me with one of his tells that he's lying. So it's not as simple as just arresting him. That's body language covering the mouth. You've told a lie, you know, like that. Um, it's not as simple as just arresting me because I haven't done a crime. So of course it's not as simple as arresting me. He has problems. So I said, what were the problems? Can't tell you. Not allowed to tell you. So That obviously didn't happen. I know he has problems. He admits himself that he's got mental problems, doesn't he? He admits that himself. Well, we've talked about depression on the streams. We've done Mental Health Monday for over a year. Uh, about eight years ago, seven years ago, I did a actual, you know, full divulge of how I felt about depression over the years. And I've combated it by going to the doctors, going to therapy, did cognitive behavioral therapy, talked to like a, you know, general chit chat therapist for a bit, uh, took antidepressant medication as prescribed by the doctor. And as per the doctor's instructions are now tapering down because things feel a lot better. I'm glad that I've gone on that journey. I wouldn't say in the way he said it. And I don't think you can use it as a stick to beat me with or a stigma. Uh, it's actually a strength, if anything. Anxiety was a part of it. I had trouble sleeping and anxieties. And, uh, you know, they played out as physical manifestations. So you know, I went to the doctor and we sorted it all out. And I feel really good about it. At the moment, we're on a tapering system where instead of taking one tablet every day, start taking them every other day, you know, spanning it out. And then eventually, because there are physical side effects that I get from not taking the medication that I have taken for a while, my mental state is fine, as you can see from these streams, but the physical side of things can get a little bit like bad tummy and headaches and stuff like that. I mean, maybe I'm feeling it now. So yeah, under doctor's orders, but everything's going well. You see that, the way he cries for no reason, like, I, I did well not to cry tonight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't cry for no reason. I explore emotions when they come up. So sometimes, I mean, in we played Genshin Impact today. In Genshin Impact, there's a moment in the Vision Hunt Decree, and even talking about it now will make me emotional. There's a moment in the Vision Hunt Decree where one of my friends in the game, one of the characters that's our friend in the game, basically sacrifices himself and stands in front of the fire for us. And, and then later on, there's another moment. I don't want to spoil it for anyone that's going to play Genshin Impact. But later on, there's another moment where all of the souls of the people who have been hurt by the oppressive and brutal regime are stirred to help me slay the, the, the very beast that oppressed them. And like, it's so emotional. Like, I, I, I've no doubt I cried at that. And I, when we did that thing, you know, I think he's probably referring to that video where they, all the mimps made me that video and said about how they'd had their struggles and, you know, how our streams have helped people through things. And like when things are emotional like that, I'm 100% happy to explore my emotions by letting it out and to, to feel things. And it would be wrong to not do that. It, the other thing would be wrong to like push it down and pretend I don't feel things and like, you know, or to not feel things. That would also be wrong. So I'm happy to say that crying is one of the things that I sometimes do. Yes. <laughs> like, at the same time, it's not a feature of my content, is it? It's not like you might walk in the room and playing Genshin Impact and he's having one of his chocolate milks and, oh, he started crying out of nowhere. Just didn't see that coming. Like, it's, it's when things are emotional, I respond to them with the correct emotional responses. Thank you. I wanted to cry. But I didn't want him to see it and say, oh, he's having a pity party now that like he's crying to make money. So it's just bullshit. You, if you wanted to cry, you would have cried. And if you didn't want to cry, you didn't cry. And you made your own choices. And now we're here. I don't even know if I made any money tonight. I don't even care. Oh, well, thanks for all the tips. <laughs> but I just don't care. And where's... 
Where's Nancy tonight, anyway? Oh, so talking of money that I don't care about. Where's Nancy? You couldn't write it, could you? You couldn't script it. I don't even know if I made any money tonight. I don't even care. And where's... Where's Nancy tonight, anyway? Let me see that. Well, Grumpy Granny's got a mental disorder as well. Right. Kitty Winnie, he admits to having a mental disorder. Kitty. See, this thing is now... The, he's called it a disorder, and mental health is now a stick to beat me with. It's this thing... Like, you talk about stigma in these conversations, about reasons why men can't talk about their feelings, like, as an example, women as well, but, you know, men have a problem talking about their feelings, don't they? And they talk about stigma and the stigma of mental health and not being able to come forward and say, hey, I'm struggling, I need a bit of time, or uh, maybe I need to see the doctor and talk about this because it's getting on top, you know? Um, being able to have these conversations makes things a lot easier. So stigmatising mental conditions it makes it very difficult for people who are suffering because they don't feel they can come and talk to people and they feel that there's something wrong with them and often it's not even you know i consider my responses to the life that was going on around me to be correct and i think that people feel anxiety and feel stress and depression because of things that are actually happened so that's okay like it's not always their fault and it's certainly not the fault of people like some mental illnesses like other illnesses that you could contract like nobody's fault if they get chicken pox is it or it's no one's fault well, they might have been their fault because they might have been licking the face of the other kid with the chicken pox but you know what i mean like it's nobody's fault if you uh like i don't want to talk about the real harsh ones but like i don't know like if you got like um if you got Oh, I don't know, like a swollen head. I'm going to pick something random that's not like everyone suffers and feels sad about. If you've got a big swollen head, if your head swelled up like a big swollen head, you'd be like, well, that's like savage and horrible for you, isn't it? Like, I feel sorry for you with your old swollen head. That's not your fault. And at the same time, like there are a lot of mental struggles that people go through that are not connected with responses to life, but instead seem a little bit like, whoa, well, how come this is happening? And it might be uh, hormonal or it might be metabolic or it might you know st other kinds of mental illness might be neurological that it's not their fault and they didn't cause it themselves and they suffer with it so we don't have to stigmatize or beat people with a mental health stick and I feel like having been through some things in my life myself I can empathize with people and so it's fine to talk about it on stream and it's fine for me to like admit that I've struggled mentally I wouldn't call it like a like you know I've not been had to be sectioned and I didn't like have some sort of psychotic delusion and I wasn't like again not trying to beat these people with a stick but I wasn't uh psychotic or schizophrenic or like you know some of the things that people might say require more serious hospitalization and treatment in those ways um i haven't suffered in that way but i have suffered with depression and i have suffered with anxiety and i have come through that and conquered it so i do have empathy for those people and i think there's is light at the end of that tunnel and um maybe i represent that in some way to people that having gone through all that i'm here on the internet having a laugh and hopefully creating positive content and so uh, it seems really weird that alan would like for his inner circle specifically what he's trying to do is he's trying to portray me as some uh i guess to you know to use those phrases like bipolar or schizophrenic or you know he's trying to portray me as being quite off my nut so to speak and it's weird because in my content like right now i don't think i come across in that way so they can just judge me by how I am and what I do rather than Alan's weird lies. So this doesn't hurt me in any way. In fact, it makes Alan look bad. By the way, in case you didn't know that. I'm just going to rewind it a little bit and run and grab a drink while he's talking. And where's... Where's Nancy tonight, anyway? Let me see that. Well, Grumpy Granny's got a mental disorder as well. Kitty Winnie, he admits to having a mental disorder. Kitty Winnie, by the way, in case you didn't know that, he admits he has um, problems and he come off his medication. I don't need to tell you that. I can tell you that. That's what he's. I didn't say that. I, you've just heard me explaining it all. Uh, I didn't admit that I've got problems and I've come off my medication like some, you know, keep taking the meds. He's come off his tablets. Oh no, he's gone nuts. It's not that. It's under doctor's orders, having gone through the process. But, yeah, well. Dead, so. so they're all, I mean, it's no excuse, is it? 
If he's got problems, then he shouldn't be on the net, should he? Sorry, what? Singing Gary Glitter. If people have got problems, they shouldn't be on the internet. I would con con contrast that with if people have got mental struggles, then if they find the internet a place to speak about them, fine. There are some really fine YouTube channels. Uh, if I go YouTube and um, on the psych ward, I think that'll bring it up. Like here are people that are going through the process of mental health struggle and they are literally you know, documenting their, their struggles through vlogs and shorts and TikToks and their experiences and they're on podcasts and this is somebody that this is called living well with schizophrenia i mean this is a powerful video like this is a powerful video and um for somebody to have made like it there was a sequence of videos um to, like she talks about psychosis and schizophrenia and then she makes a video called i'm in psychosis right now from home and then the next video is hello from the psych ward so like literally going through it yeah Literally going through it. A day in my life as a psych ward hospital patient vlog. So, yes, I think it's fine that these people talk on the internet. I think it's absolutely fine. Not everyone will want to do this, but a lot of people who are going through these struggles will see this and it will actually really help. Are you right, Kat? So, Alan's wrong. Bang wrong in what he said. This medication, I don't need to tell you that. Or I can tell you that. Because that's what he said. So. so, they're all, I mean, it's no excuse, is it? If he's got problems, then he shouldn't be on the net, should he? I mean, Alex Jones made a career out of it. That's a joke. Singing Gary Glitter. Faking masturbation. Putting it in my face. Writing songs. Scotty Hottie's greatest hits. Songs about murdering young girls. Writing songs about... He knows writing a song about my daughters in a sexual way. And what he does, to, what he wants to do to them, he knows that's really bad, doesn't he? Really, he doesn't really? know that that's going to trigger me, doesn't he? Ah, is it that it triggers you? Is that the problem, Alan, or is it that it's really bad? Which is it? Because I do know that it triggers you, don't I? I do know that. I mean, you just admitted it there on on the internet, but I do know that, don't I? It says it's my own fault for using this channel for film. Channel 5, and no, it wasn't just that, was it, Alan? Again, this minimising, misconstruing, deliberately misrepresenting, moving the goalposts, it's your behaviour, Alan. It's the things you said to me in your apology and the way that you plagiarised the rest of my content and Eddie's vinyl break. I bring him into this because at the same time as he was doing it to me, he was doing it to Eddie. I know he's done it to lots of channels in the past, but at the same time as he was doing it to me, he was doing it to Eddie. And I was watching Eddie's content and I was seeing, I saw Eddie's ideas reproduced on Alan's channel. Like, I called out Mind Juice for doing it to my channel way back early days and people love Mind Juice and I'm not still banging on that. Like, you know, they've made up their own content from elsewhere since then but one of their videos was pretty close to what I fucking said the day a couple of days before and I don't like it but I'm not banging on Mind Juice am I because they haven't turned it into this fucking nightmare scenario like whereas Alan couldn't accept the criticism like the, the thing with Eddie as well like Eddie's a decent person like from what I can tell and to see it happening like to somebody else as well like you know to see that it, that it kind of um, that it kind of made me more like Eddie decided to take down his channel at one point didn't he and I felt like that's everyone again I'm not going to tell anyone what to do I can leave a little comment but I'm not going to tell anyone really you know what to do and, and their approach to life but with Eddie like because he took I, me personally I'm not going to take down my channel and stop like, you know I'm going at him aren't I so he got to plagiarise more of my stuff, I guess, but like we turned it into this. And I guess Eddie didn't want to do this, that's fine. Um, but if I didn't, if, like, if Eddie disappeared, and I feel like I'd pick up the flag for Eddie in a way and carry on fighting. So like, if Eddie, if I had also stopped, then none of us would have, you know, so I'm not saying I'm doing it on Eddie's behalf, that's not fair, because Eddie didn't ask me to and... Like, you know, it's, I'm doing it on my behalf, really, aren't I? But um, at the same time as he was plagiarising me, he was plagiarising Eddie, and it got me fucking eggy about it. Like, 
Alan's done this because of his behaviour. And after the plagiarising, after the stealing the content, after the refusing to apologise, he went into attack mode, didn't he? Uh, after I called him out on his bullshit publicly, he went into attack mode. My first video on Alan was Alan's content thief and a grifter. None of this other stuff, but Alan's turned it into this mad shit, so now we're here. Now what's happening is the rebrand. And it's not on Alan's terms. Alan is now a lol cow. A lol cow is someone on the internet that people laugh at, take the piss out of, watch their content because it's fucking laughs, go in his chat and pretend to be nice when actually they hate him, uh, and laugh at his content and use it for content themselves. You can provoke him and he'll go off on his mad nutter. Uh, you know, he's a lol cow. It's an internet term for somebody who makes terrible content, pr primarily YouTube people who make terrible content and other people only really tune in to laugh at them or make content about them, which makes them angry and they react to it and you milk them for laughs. They're a He's a lol cow. Um, what did you miss? What does that have to do with Eddie? Sorry, big ups over in Dolly's mom. Um, I was just saying that Eddie had his content plagiarized and decided to close his channel. So um, Alan said that it, it's all happened because he used one video that was channel four and it's not that. It's the way he behaved, and if he hadn't behaved that way with Eddie, I wouldn't feel... I mean, it wasn't just that, but that's one of the contributing factors that made me feel more strongly about, you know, hammering the bastard. Because, like, I was enjoying watching Eddie's content, and Alan plagiarised it. Well, I mean, I know he's plagiarising mine as well, but to see it happening to somebody else, you know, to see the... the from an outside perspective, to see it happening to somebody else, you know, it confirmed it in me that this guy's a fucking chuffer, and... Like, stop pushing my mate Eddie around sort of thing. You know what I mean? Like, in, in colloquial terminology. Um, has this been going four hours? No, I would play, I've been playing Genshin Impact for the first big chunk of this stream. And now I said, because this was only a 20-minute react. to uh, This video of Alan's is only 20 minutes. So I thought, instead of doing it on the main channel and making a big thing of it, I'll just do it here at the end of a stream and we'll throw it up as a video. It can, get, it, it can get a premiere and everyone can watch it along and talk in the premiere. This channel four film. Hello to everyone in the premiere. <laughs> this is a premiere. It's on YouTube as a live premiere, but it's not live right now, so I can't. You know, I'm talking to you now, and but I can't respond to you in the comments. But I might be in the comments talking. But people get confused about what a premiere is, so I'm sorry that it's confusing. Also, I don't make the timed introductions on the premiere. YouTube does that. So people seem to like them. I can't take the credit. To <laughs> this, he is crazy. Uh, I don't know what's going on with the chat. It should be working, hopefully. Four film. I used this channel for film, and it's led to this. He is crazy. I'm not crazy. So he's prepared to punish me. Crazy is a real, like, you know, mental health slur, essentially, isn't it? That much. For using a channel. It, the context he's using it here is. Anyway, yeah, let's see what he's got to say. To this? He is crazy. So he's prepared to punish me that much for using a Channel 4 film. How far, how far is his mind prepared to go? What? If I'm prepared to punish you, I, you've got things really out of proportion here then. So this isn't just because of the Channel 5 documentary that I edited so that we just had the interviews of Paul Ansell that would be very useful for the streams and for people that are interested. Not just that, the work that I did editing it and putting it up on YouTube. It's everything you did after Alan. So it's unfair to say, right, if Scott would only do this for this little thing, then what's he going to do? You know, It's just really totally getting things out of proportion and deliberately so, or maybe you're delusional. So he's prepared to punish me that much for using a Channel 4 film, how far, how far is his mind prepared to go? Um, Dover and Dolly is one. The comments are on above my head, so you can verify them with what's going on above my head. In a Channel 4 film, how far, how far is his mind prepared to go? He's worrying. I've, I've, when's he, is he turning this lust in his head one day into reality? 
So it start with words, right? They all start with words. I don't know if I've got mods on Twitch. I think it's automatic modding. It might be a Twitch feature on the chat, so sorry about that. And for everyone on YouTube who watches and leaves comments and says, well, where are my comments going? Why are my comments being deleted? Because YouTube has an automatic moderating system that reviews it for things that might be offensive or the XYZ. So like, if YouTube turns... Like, so it's always, you know, don't think I'm going around the comments bothering to delete things. Is it but if you leave really weird, nasty comments, they can get deleted, thanks. So I will do that. But like, some people seem to get their egg on about it in comments and they get confused. But turning this. We're getting confused about comments now. It's about Alan. I'm not going to respond and talk about comments anymore, okay? How far, how far is his mind prepared to go? He's worrying. I've, I've, when's he, is he turning this lust in his head one day into reality what lust for your daughter i didn't even know what she looked like when i wrote the song and now i've seen her she's got the vinicum smile i was like, oh fuck <laughs> I, I promised her a trip to new york and she's got the vinicum smile she doesn't look like my sort of person really but then maybe she would turn out to be you never know i don't know you know opposites attract maybe but uh it's turned into a weird thing in alan's mind where i'm now like conjuring some sort of lust <laughs> So it start with words, right? They always start with words and thoughts. Things start with words and thoughts. That's the first true thing he said tonight. And end up with reality. I'm worried. I, 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 he's dangerous. I'm dangerous. And these are but I'm also, in his words tonight, five foot two, he could pick me up with one hand. So he's got a weird double standard, hasn't he? I'm worried. I, 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 he's dangerous. And these old women supporting him make him more dangerous. It's like the Emperor's new clothes. Yes, Emperor. Okay, wait. You old women that support me make me dangerous. It's really offensive. And also, the Emperor's new clothes is a story about how the Emperor themselves was delusional. Because everyone kept telling them how good they were. Grandiosity. They were so delusional and naive that they got sold. They got hijacked and sold a load of bollocks. You know, I'll buy this wonderful clothes. Oh, honestly, they're the one of the most wonderful clothes. Only smart people can see them. Yeah? Only smart people can see them. They rode around the town thinking they were wearing smart smart people's clothes. And it turned out they were naked. And someone in the crowd, a little boy, just went, you're naked. And now everyone was like, oh, my God, you can't say it. Everyone's got to applaud the emperor. Like, we, we know he's naked, but we can't say it. And one little boy called him out, and that was it. Everyone, all hell broke loose. He was naked. Um, and that tale is about narcissism naivety and the manipulation of such narcissism and naivety and about society and how everyone goes along with something even though they know it's not right because the powers that be you know and not wanting to buck the status quo so it's a strange story for Alan to bring into this but it's more about Alan really isn't it he treats it's you know essentially a story about how he treats his subscribers and people by giving them all a load of bullshit and lies and they're the ones dressed in the Empress new clothes that are naked I suppose or maybe Alan's naked because he doesn't really have any content and he dresses it up like he's this and he's that and he's the armchair detective but really it's all it's all bollocks isn't it so really he's naked uh, let's see how he's going to apply it here because maybe I'm the one that's naked now in some way I don't know start with words right they always start with words and thoughts and end up with reality I'm worried I, 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 he's dangerous. And these old women supporting him make him more dangerous. It's like the Emperor's new clothes. Yes, Emperor, you look great in not having any clothes. Oh, these clothes are great, are they? Oh, yes, you're doing great. Oh, these songs about his children are good, are they? Yeah, they're great songs. <laughs> Very funny songs about his kids. All right, then. So I dox all his children, says Trumpy Granny. Yeah, do that. It's a brilliant idea. Trumpy granny. So that didn't really allegorise with the same thing as the Emperor's New Clothes, really. It doesn't really sit properly. But it's interesting that he's brought it up as well. The Emperor's New Clothes. Like, he's naked, isn't he? He's naked in front of the audience with nothing. Pumped up by his own grandiosity. Sold. A, he's selling himself the clothes. And uh, everyone, like, you know, for the audience and everyone, oh, he's naked and, like, calling him out. Like, there's a lot of people on the internet that are that little boy calling him out, saying he's naked. Fits much better with Alan as the, the Emperor. And the naivety and the pomposity and the 
Uh, the thing is, I also consider Alan, Alan to be the con man that sells the emperor the clothes. You know, that dresses him up in the ideas. Yeah. They're nuts. But where does it lead? What is the final solution here? Either he goes or I go. <laughs> uh, the final solution being echoes of the words of Adolf Hitler when he exterminated all the Jews. But yeah, either he goes or I go. Well, then that's easy. You go. Because I've got a career that's growing on YouTube. I've got multiple facets to it. I'm on Twitch today, of all places. So there's the Super Chuffer main channel, a bit more serious stuff, it turns out. Body language analysis, uh, psychology, Super Chuffer main channel. Then we've got Battery Exhausted, where we you know, go a bit nuts on the lol cows. Nut to watch, essentially, Battery Exhausted has turned into. Um, I used to have it as a vegan channel, and I will have themes of veganism coming through all of my content, but I feel these days it's better not to beat people over the head with veganism, but simply to show a good example of it, and when it comes up every now and then, talk about it. I think that's a much more subtle and effective way than doing a whole channel beating everyone up about veganism. So Battery Exhausted is now lol cows and you know other guffaws, lols, laughs, and... I've also got the clips channels. I've got the ASMR channel. I've got the music. Uh, we're on Twitch. We play games like as a collection of different kinds of content. We're pushing forward, and each thing seems to be going quite well. I can't put all my attention onto each thing all the time. I'm actually happy being a little bit more diverse than just having one big channel. Having like a push here and a push there and a push there but yeah if, if i have to leave youtube now and just switch everything off that's a shame because it's going forward in a positive way gaining subscribers gaining growth videos getting more views as we go on uh with alan it's the opposite he's had his peak he's fucked it up he's at the moment where people look at him lots of people have looked at him and they've decided bollocks this is trash and he's driven his shitty channel into the ground and he's got like a few hangers on floating around. Like it's just, it's really bad for Alan. So he might as well go. If it's going to be that, him or me, final solution in the words of Adolf Hitler, then it might as well be him, huh? Like no one's going to miss him. But if I go, who's next? Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> who's next? We contacted one guy that he did this to before. It's not I, this really confuses me. Who does he think I've done this to before? Is he, like, uh, we've, talked about other lol cow figures on my battery exhausted channel like martin leak uh, dark side phil um but i also think he might be meaning that raffi taffy guy who like literally there's a parallel here because that guy lifted some of my content used it in one of his videos i asked him to take it down he messed about and in the end it got a bit ugly in public and like effectively he did take down and remove my content but he walked away with like i made him give the money like, he made money off the stuff and i wasn't monetized so i asked him to give the money to unicef and he did give the money to unicef some of it but like you know he walked away with a bit more than uh fair fucks on that and a lot of people trolled me for it but i, I might have done it in a better way i could have done it in a better way but ultimately i didn't agree with somebody taking my content by theft, using it, profiting off it, you know, so I stood up for myself, maybe he's talking about that, but it's not really like a major thing, you know, it's not something that, you know, we talk about it sometimes, maybe if it comes up, but it's not like, you know, a feature of my work, um, it was like a little blip, do you know what I mean, and I did that one, the, the rap that everyone likes, um, Castillo Charm, you know, I did that rap and everyone liked that, I don't know, maybe he's talking about that, but what, it's a weird thing, isn't it? He's like, I guess he's going to try and paint me out as some sort of YouTube hate troll that goes around taking down channels. Like, it's a weird thing. But if I... Because you can all see my content. You can all scroll back and just see what's on my content. So, hello. Whereas Alan's got this track record of bullying other contenters off the, off the platform entirely, hasn't he? Alan's got a, a track record of, of doing it, to, especially to ladies. Go. Who's next? We contacted one guy that he did this to before. It's not his first rodeo. He's done this to another creator. I haven't done this to another the creator. creator that had a million um, subscribers. And I don't know what you're on about, million subscribers creator. I, I, that is now, I don't know what he's on about. I've done this to a creator with a million subscribers. None of the people I talk about have got a million subscribers or did when I was like going through any shit. With, like Raffi Taffy, when I went through that shit, was like, 
50k maybe or 100k like not a million maybe they've got a million now i don't know i don't follow them but like it's just do you think i go around the internet attacking people like if you so, want to just check the content you can just check the content and see that that's a lie so it's a weird one to throw at me i don't know why he's doing that now but even if i went there'd be somebody else next to do it to but this tiniest excuse it home in on somebody so because you think I might do this to somebody else, you don't think you have to leave. <laughs> I, your defense against the fact that you've done reprehensible things on the internet, and it's not just me, it's Grumpy Granny today, isn't it? Like, but you know, all these people, why don't you just walk away to protect your family from Grumpy Granny and all these other people posting this shit? And like we say, you know, you stop doing it, it stops. Why don't you just stop, Alan? You'd rather have your ego massage and your fucking $200 off Nancy you know, at the moment, it's it's really savage to, to keep going because it's driven into the ground anyway. You might as well admit defeat and walk off. But for some reason, because I'm going to continue making content, Alan shouldn't leave. He just said, what's the final solution? Me versus Stupid Chuffer. So if one of us has got to leave, Alan, why shouldn't it be you? Oh, well, because other people might continue to make content. Like what? Jesus, he'll sacrifice himself for all humanity. I'm ASMR Jesus. They said I was ASMR Jesus. So you, I think you're ASMR Jesus, you do. Especially if he... I mean, look. Why does he get views? Because he puts hashtag armchair detective. Not true. Not true. Because if you go to Super Chuffer, I built this city... I built this city on cock and hole. I actually built my channel without Armchair Detective in the picture. And he only came into it because of this thing he did where he stole my content. So I started talking about him on the B-side channel because I didn't want him to be on the main channel and for that to tarnish any of this. So if some people have crossed over and it does in some way, in fact, you know, oh, Super Chuff is saying this and Super Chuff is saying that. But the Super Chuff channel itself has not been built on Alan or his name. And my most recent content on there thus very happy with very happy with those podcasts i think they're really good the nicola buddy stuff got quite a lot of views more okay but also we got the video recently six thousand five thousand schofield nine ten thousand for that one it dropped off because this video was held back by youtube and that really annoyed me but ten thousand on the schofield thing so i don't need alan like, okay oh you're using philip schofield's name come off like come on I'm doing body language analysis on the internet. I'm going to be doing people of note. But I don't need Alan's name to build my channel. I haven't done. Not at all. And the channel we're talking on now, Battery Exhausted, to the best this, of my knowledge, this channel was already built and had, like, you know, I'd already got my thousand subscribers and monetization a long time ago doing vegan stuff. And I'd let it slide and it was just like a, um, a place for dumping stuff that we did on the streams. So now I've refined it into this a bit more. But um, Alan's in those videos, yeah. But I don't need Alan, do I? Because I can make loads of other content. It'd be nice if Alan stopped and we could get on with it. <laughs> but I will concede that these videos that I do about Alan, like we're doing now, do get quite a lot of views. And that's because people like watching me rip Alan apart. But it's not because Alan's something special. Like, there's another narcissist around the corner, isn't there, Alan? Especially on YouTube. Like, Julian Ryder would be interested if I got back in with him, wouldn't he? Why does he get views? Because he uses my name. Why does he get views? Because he uses my films. Why does he get views? Because he trashes me. He can't do anything else. He has to do me. Maybe he's talking about Durian Ryder. Hang on. If you go to popular videos, one of these popular ones is Durian Ryder Exposed, where I made one video about Durian Ryder being a narcissist and an arsehole. Maybe he's talking about that. I don't know. It's so weird. Like, has Durian Ryder got a million... I don't think he has, has he? I mean, he had his time where, like, you know, he was popular. No, he's got 240k. And he's still a fucking nutter. He's all about bikes now. He thinks he's a safe place. All about bikes. Just wouldn't... He's just sticking to the bikes. The bikes. Oh, he's still doing the clickbait with the spiders and sh things. He's not getting a lot of views, though. Although he's getting a few. 15k, Lance Armstrong... For Dewey Rider, it's make videos about Lance Armstrong and bike people and then you might pick up some views. I mean, fair enough, he started on the bikes, really, and he's laying off the... Oh, no, there's a troll video about someone. Um, but he is trying to lay off the the negative content, I guess. 
how I became so successful in life from Jury and Ryder. <laughs> We've got to watch that. We've got to watch that. Okay, I, I'm going to get off this now, but I'm going to put that on my watch list. Add to watch later. Because it's like an uh, oxymoron, how I got so, so successful in life it, by Jury and Ryder. <laughs> Now, I, maybe he's talking about him, but there's loads of other people on the internet that I could be making content about, Alan. Yeah, carry on. But not this way, surely. Not not, th not this way. He can't do anything else. He has to do me. But not this way, surely. Not not this way. This isn't the way to do it, is it? Well, that annoys me because I've given him loads of offers of... Uh, actually, I haven't directly emailed him, is a point. But I've given him loads of offers verbally, you know, on the internet step up and let's do something together let's have a debate let's do a stream together i've even said we can do movie night where we literally just review a movie and we're not allowed to talk about anything except the movie and get into any of this back and forth and it'd be a fun stream loads of people would watch it because you know we don't like each other and we're having to talk to each other on a stream and not get into the argument that would be extraordinary viewing wouldn't it so like I've offered him loads of the boxing match, chess match. I don't really think online poker's uh, fair because he can cheat. And same with online chess. But like you know, I've offered him like loads of opportunities to go on streams together and make something extra and interesting out of it. So we could do it the nice way, Alan. But you won't. You want to do videos back and forth and slander and libel and saying horrible things. That's what you want to do. And so I'm reacting to the stuff you do. But we can take it onto somewhere else if you like. But you know, he's too pussy for it. Because, like I said, 95% of you are you, are you repulsed by him. He's got all his friends from TikTok or I don't know where he is. He, Discord, he's got all his friends from there. I don't even know. The people on Discord came together as a community because I left an open Discord there and said, if you want to join it, you can join it. And yes, it's nice, friendly, positive place. But it's not that I got a load of friends from dis. What does he even mean by this? 95% of you are you are you repulsed by him? All right, okay, so what he's saying is the audience, obviously the people in his Discord, sorry, his Discord, his patron, uh, those people are repulsed by me. But, oh, oh, the people on his Discord, they like it and they support it and they represent the wider audience, Alan. <laughs> he's got all his friends from TikTok or I don't know where he is. He... I wonder how much you'd use my name to get views if I never mentioned him again. Yeah, uh, there is a point. And I do want to get to that point very soon where I focus on other content more and Alan comes up, maybe I do a monthly roundup instead. Like he's gonna, Alan's going to be like a broken record. This grumpy granny thing, okay, was a bit different. And when something's a bit different like that, I do want to cover it because I'm one of his... Like There are other people now detracting him. There are other people making videos about him. And I welcome that and promote it and highlight it. You know, Slinky Socks, subscribe to her channel. Um, Regardation Police is doing good super edits. Uh the um you know there's another one as well that i like recently that i hope i don't give the kiss of death to uh the obsoletist um like other channels can pick up this this content button and keep holding him to account and i can take a fucking day off <laughs> and focus on something else um so i don't think it's like i think in ter or maybe we should all just stop talking about him and he'd just be on an echo chamber on his own sort of thing maybe um but uh Yeah, and I, I think for me there is going to be a point where, like, you know, kind of recently, kind of soon, I'm going to focus on other content, and I think he will like find that difficult. He's already tried to use me for views a lot recently. Like, he's already tried to stir this drama to use it for views, and even that has failed because if he goes on a, like, we basically did stream battle the other day. Both did the, you know, I analysed him live, he did his live. It was this one, wasn't it? And like, he lost the battle. We got more views than him. More people watch our stuff than his stuff. So. Like, this doesn't help him. His content is being denatured and ruined by it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Discord, he's got all his friends from there. I don't even know their names. He's brought all these people into our little corner of true crime and ruined it. I mean, it's ruined now, isn't it? it nobody can talk about crime anymore because he's ruined it all. So, obviously, I haven't ruined true crime on the internet. That's ridiculous. You, Alan, you're... I mean, it's like admitting that I'm beating him up in public, isn't it? It's like admitting it. Your channel has been kind of ruined, but it's not just me that's done that. It's you too, Alan. You've been part of that story. A big part. You're doing it now. You've got to keep talking about me. I mean, imagine... Remember, this is his page... I 
like to repeat this when I'm doing the Patreon reacts. This is his Patreon, and you have to pay £10 to be in there and hear this. So you're ruining it now, Alan. I don't want you to talk about me. I want you to do crime with me. I want to do ghost stories. I want to do aliens. He wants you to do crime with him, like breaking into the co-op at night. Um, <laughs> he wants to do aliens and ghost stories. Well, why, why not do them then? The reason why not is because he wouldn't get enough views on them. It looked like an idiot saying nonsense on the internet and he wouldn't get the views. The reason he's brought up aliens and ghost stories is because he thinks he has to pivot from true crime. Remember um, Curtis Media, whatever he's changed his name to now, he did a few ghosty bits. I even did a bit of paranormal investigation and we got the tarot cards. I mean, I'm looking forward to doing the tarot card streams. Uh, there's a, a Venn diagram overlap with the true crime and people like, you said it earlier, you'd been watching um, Trisha Gale the numerology you know there's an overlap and he thinks he can cover that overlap by talking about these other subjects and maybe his channel will take off in a different way you know he's looking he's searching ASMR people think was a diss at me it may have been but I think he discovered it on this I think he was ignorant of my channel really and I think he discovered it off this morning when Emma Whispers Red was on and he fancied a bit of her and he thought it was easy money monies and I think he's looking for a way to pivot his channel into something else because the true crime aspect for him is dead and he has ruined it and he's useless and everyone hates him. And so his corner of the internet has turned toxic and now he's going to try and, like, if he grips onto doing Bigfoot videos, he thinks he might get his way out of it because he's not really that smart and he hasn't really got that much content to offer. So his thoughts about what might make a good content, like, even, like, to some people, there are some channels that successfully do that, but Alan wouldn't be able to do that. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't worry, Slinky Socks, I know what you're talking about, yeah. This Lorna that accused his, that apparently sent the threat, um, was in his chat years ago, and he deleted them years ago, and, like, this threat might be from years ago is the basic premise, isn't it? But, yeah, like, you know, it's, I don't, I don't, uh, but it comes back every day with what something worse. What does tomorrow bring? Grumpy Granny Part Two. Well, that wasn't me then, was it? He comes back every day with something worse. What does tomorrow bring? Grumpy Granny Part Two. Well, that's Grumpy Grannis then, isn't it? Not me. But yeah. For God's sake. I'm ready for it, but it's not what I want to do. Well, don't do it then. Stop talking about him. Yeah. I love that in his chat there someone's put stop talking about him real nosy nana nosy nana said stop talking about him that must piss him off but there's a lot of them here that like you know suck up the bullshit kitty witty I know those meds come with side effects yeah that's why I'm reducing them the side effects were they make me a bit drowsy in the evenings you have a bit more of an appetite and I think thinning hair but that just might be because I'm getting older so when I reduce them then I have trouble sleeping a bit because of the non-drowsiness. and uh, it's bizarre. But I don't have any, like, like this weird shit to say in the chat, isn't it? Nutjob says nosy nana. Riff Raff says they're worried. And uh, it's crazy what I'm doing. And I'm a sicko, says spicy lady. And Irish says, have you seen the screenshots from his Discord? Worse than his lives. So we do have um, rats in the, in the Discord there, rats in the camp. I'd, I'll tell you what I'd do. I'd just be very, if I were the... Um, mods mods have actually asked me to have this conversation i'll just say it right now quickly um is i'd be have your little mod council bring people to the attention and probably vote on it but just get them out really like tell them we think you are suspicious and we are removing you for this reason but if you want you can appeal it send an email to we'll set up an email at the moment it'll have to be to me true by all at outlook.com um and you know talk and show and you know we can have a um, you'll understand that there's a lot of fake people, you know, give them a warning or some shit, but really just like, I'd rather have people deleted for being weird than lurking and being weird. Do you know what I mean? Um, but also, yeah, give me the names first. Give me the, I, I would just like, cause there might be some people from like friends just from way back that aren't that active, but, uh, Alan's revealed that there are rats in our discord. Uh, well, Irish has and Irish is bin bin, isn't it? So that's a great idea. So after what he did today, you think I should stop talking about him, dude? Nanny? Yeah, if you like, it's up to you, Alan, what you want to do with your content. But obviously, like, there are times where you need to address the things I'm doing. 
Like when I dropped the video, like I even said it, you can't ignore this one. You have to talk about this on your channel. Um, puppet master that I am. Uh, there are times where you do want to talk about the things and you should. And even points, like I've said, we should have a live stream together and, and stuff. But for you to just be going on and slandering Scots like Epstein and all this business, like it makes you look worse and it makes you look obsessed. And it gives me the fuel and the content to react to and create from. And it highlights all your worst qualities. So even though this is actually quite a negative for me in a way, to say, stop talking about me, it is the best advice, isn't it? Because then I can continue taking, the, of course I can continue to take the piss out of him. We can all have a, still have a good laugh, but like he's making it worse. So it's probably better to stop making it worse, wouldn't you think? Because in the initial instance, if he just said, sorry, I didn't realize it was your video. Obviously he didn't realize it was my video. He stole it from the Sentry's editing thing, which doesn't have my face on it, my name, because it's like, you know, a different account so that if it gets binned off for copyright reasons, I don't get binned off for copyright reasons. So Sentries is different, but uh, I call it my, you know, sister channel. I send it to a friend to upload sort of business. Um, different account, right? So he saw that there and he didn't think it was me, but if he'd seen it on my channel, he wouldn't have cared, but he took it, it wasn't his, and he did it off a perceivably smaller YouTuber. And then when it came to apology time, instead of just facing up to it and saying, sorry, yeah, and because he did 19,000 views, I imagine he got some money. And instead of taking that money and giving it to charity and being open about it, he did a rude apology that wasn't an apology and he made it worse. So because of that, I made a video calling him out being a content grifter and a thief and said, keep my name off your channel, out of your mouth and keep my content off your channel. And then he made it worse by doing content on his channel and saying my name. So if he didn't, it wouldn't have. And it, it's, Alan makes it worse. The worst is me, you know, doing the response. But it's always because of him and his behavior. So, yeah, it's good advice from Nosy Nanny, but it would really aggravate him, wouldn't it? I've got to keep calm because it's like my daughters are here and I don't want to shout. His daughter's there, apparently. So he spent all evening streaming on the mainstream, having his big rant, and he's doing the patron thing. But his daughters are there. Where? Have they come over to stop at his house, have they? I thought they were worried and scared because of their pictures being on the internet. So they decided to all come over and stop at his house. Both daughters, who I assume live independently, have decided to come and stay at Dad's house. And he's up in the middle of the night doing his show instead of hanging out with them. It's a bit weird. Actually, I can't stop talking about him because of what he did to my daughters today. All oh, right. So the daughters were in his mind. And now that's the reason why he can't stop talking about me. Thinking on the fly there, Alan. Gift of the gab. This day, you think I should stop talking about him, dude? Nanny? I've got to keep calm because it's like my daughters are here and I don't want to shout. Actually, I can't stop talking about him because of what he did to my daughters today. Is that good enough, Anna? Or no? I didn't do anything to his daughters. It was Grumpy Granny that did the pictures today he's referring to. So you... It, what? Discords are worse than his lives. Oh my God. It's just a bunch of nice people taking the piss out of you. Hello, Riff Raff. Hello, Spice Lady. Hello, supporters. It's sick. No excuse. What do you want me to do, Nosy Nana? What do you want me to do? Have a drink? Vodka? What do you want me to do? Stop talking about him. See how frust furious he is, the blink rate went up. He suggested leaning on the drink instead. So this is now some sort of, like if he related it to alcohol like that, he's saying that what, calm down with the drink or like he's so infuriated, enraged, he has to have a pop at me. Or is it like Super Chuffer is now addictive to him? The rage is addictive to him. You know, what do you expect me to do? Go and, go and drink. Like, you can do both, Alan, I assume you do. I guess his support will fall away because the the people that think they support him don't really support him. Obviously, people from disc like uh, Discord moderators, I would also suggest uh, um, being very polite when banning these people that you are suspicious of, and being really like you know, like I'm sorry, there's a problem with Alan and the trolls because of this. It's come to our attention that you haven't been 
conversating on Discord, or you, we, you know, have con you don't even have to give them a big reason. You can just say because of this, your account has come into question, and we've decided to remove you at this time. Like, you know, be really nice about it. Don't make people eggy and cross because they might be not. You know, some people might get in the dragnet, might get caught up in it, and you want those people to totally understand that it's for the right reasons and that they can appeal it. Because they, they're not. Sh I just think they don't know what he's doing. I don't think they know what he's doing. I think they do know what I'm doing. Got an email here, yeah, hang on. Got an email. Right. Citizens arrest. You can make an arrest if the suspect is actually committing an offence or if you reasonably suspect they're committing an offence. So if someone's in the process of committing an offence, you can go and grab hold of them and say, hey, you, stop doing that. But Alan can't come to my house and have a fight with me and claim citizen's arrest. But I would welcome Alan turning up on my doorstep because then I could come off my doorstep and say, get off my property, lay one f finger on me, and it's all go, isn't it? Or when the offence has been committed and you reasonably suspect them have been committed it, there's no specific wording to use for making a citizen's arrest. I can make a citizen's arrest. There you go. There's another way around it. Arrest the little weed. I hear he doesn't go outside the house, though. I'll come out for you, Alan. I'll come out for you. What do you mean? I, this is a new thing. I hear he doesn't. I reckon what this is, this thing about not going out the house, is I think it's trying to bait me into proving to him in some way that I'd go out the house and therefore taking photographs of me in my locale. You know, that would be the way I'd prove it, isn't it? I'd go and like say, oh, this is me at the shops at... at um, <laughs> at WH Smith, for example, with today's newspaper, and then they'd be like, "Oh, look at the pictures. Look where he is. Right now, we know where he is." And like, you know, it, it, I think he's trying to get me to react in some way to that. But I think it's just ridiculous. So, again, I, I'm like, I, I feel confused. It's, it's it's equally confusing as the one where he said I've done this to somebody else in the past. Like, I think he's just throwing around weirdness to make me like, or maybe this is his own delusion, but. I, I'm not a hermit. I'm all right. <laughs> he, he never goes outside the house. I don't know if that's true. I literally go outside every day. <laughs> when I finish on this stream, I'm going to go immediately out and walk the dog. Like I go out all the time. <laughs> I'm not going to dox his address. Tell you what I don't do, though. I used to go out to the pub a lot. Don't do that so much anymore. Like Not just because of the COVID, but I gave up alcohol, so not so much reason to do that. And at the moment, I actually do feel... You might see that I'm on stream a lot. Because I do feel like things are going well and I want to work hard at it. So, you know, there's a difference between just saying, oh, whatever, I'm just going to go out tonight, I'm just going to go out tonight, and deciding to actually sit down here and do this. So like, I'll concede that, you know, sometimes I make the choice to do work, but I'm not a hermit. It's weird. Big ups Jojo Cretin. Big ups Cretins. <laughs> Irish. <laughs> Now, we don't know what Irish said because it's been deleted out of the chat, but she obviously said something like threatening and weird because he's laughing at it like that and says that, it, like, Irish has obviously been been and that's just, like, dirt people. <laughs> not Irish, not the Irish are dirt people, get this right, okay? But Bin Bin herself is one of the worst, scummiest, like, cretins. <laughs> Um, of all like so she's dirt people like her and her group are like you know mud do you know what I mean mud slingers crap slingers like so the Irish are lovely people I've got lots of friends in Ireland I've got heritage from Ireland but Bin Bin who is dressed up as this character in his chat is a nutter I, I take that you were joking I understand you were joking I'm going to finish my coffee and go to bed thank you everyone um who drinks coffee before bed? I haven't got anything else to say. Other than all I want to do is do crime. And I hope nothing pops up tomorrow. All I want to do is do crime. Listen, you shouldn't do any crime. No one should be doing any crime. Other than certain rules are there to be broken. Like if you see a rule and it uh, requires your... You know, if it's against your human rights, then maybe you should go ahead and break it. But... Uh, like the crime, the crime of criminal content, Alan, is a daily occurrence on your show. But you shouldn't want to be doing any other crimes, Alan. I, you really need to understand. 
thank you everyone um i haven't got anything else to say other than all i want to do is do crime and i hope nothing at some point somebody should start making songs like you can make songs with these words um here's one for you regardation police i think this is a special quest for you and maybe stinky socks might want to get into this as well you know you can get a song uh i don't really like to use copyright material there's a lot of people who are using songs that like martin dean does this because i don't think martin's monetized so it doesn't matter to him but if you use copyright material like other people's songs then it it's make sure channels suffer because youtube sees it as a copyright infringement even if you're not monetized like and it doesn't matter because but it would do you know what i mean so like a lot of copyright material on your channel being flagged gives the revenue to this other channel the other content like you you, you like, let's say i use the Batman theme and it doesn't come up as copyright and I can do it because I'm not monetized but the Batman theme is sent the money sent to the people who do the Batman theme and YouTube says oh this channel's using that I just think in general it's better to use non-copyright stuff so maybe make your own songs um, like they do with Dark Side Phil but there's a song in that isn't there other than all I want to do is do crime all I want to do is do crime like making up songs with Alan's voice cutting up all his bits of voice and putting them into songs would be funny as fuck. I have nothing else to say, other than all I want to do is do crime. And I hope nothing pops up tomorrow. Oh, it's day off tomorrow. Thank the Lord. <laughs> we all have a day off tomorrow. I see you Sunday, yeah? Will it? It is Saturday tomorrow, right? That's today. Oh God, Sunday's today, no. I've got more. a lot of dates with the police tomorrow, so that's probably Have you got a lot of dates with the police? That's weird. I have got a day off. Like, to have lots of dates, to have more than one, you know, you think you'd have one appointment with the police if you were in, but have lots of dates with the police, that's a bit weird. We have three different police forces dealing with this. <laughs> I wish I could tell you everything about cat. <laughs> because it makes you look stupid. I'll do my best to tell you most. I'm going. Thank you for all your support. Thank you for all your support. Good night. And he's gone, thank God. Another crap patron from the Armchair Detective. Very much a pity party, that one. And nobody turned up to give him the monies. As he said, Nancy wasn't there. Nobody turned up to give him the monies. He was fed up with it. He just left. So, bad Alan. I want to play you a um, couple of songs. Not going to play loads and loads of songs, but... Um, I want to play a couple of songs that I really, you know, think sum up what I was just saying about Phil, uh, Phil about um, Alan. Like, this, he's ripe for this at the moment, Alan. He's, he's ripe for this. I need that money. I really, really do. I need that money. I, I really need that money. Really need that money. I need that money. I really, really do. I need that money. I, I really need that money. That money, really, that money, that money. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. It's Dark Side Phil. I need that money to pay my bills, the electric bill, the internet bill. Stupid fucking trolls, man. I just want to chill. chill. I rock. This is Dark Side, Dark Side to Flow. So make sure to subscribe to them. Um, for funding chargebacks at my lap. Sounds like act, act, act. <laughs> and the like, so the simple concept, isn't it? Like that. They've made a song. I like the fact that it's an original song. If anyone needs original music, check out in our Discord. We've got people in there making original music. Actually, Andrew Stars of Wolf, I still haven't listened to that fucking song. That's on my fucking pin to-do list. Damn it. I need to listen to that song. Um, but like, I'm sure even if you don't like making songs yourself, you could hook up with someone else who does. And you need like just a simple beat, a bit of a chorus. You know, don't need to go too mad. Uh, getting started as well. Like, you know, don't try and create your magnum opus. Just get started on it and see how the flow works um, but I'm sure lots of Alan's stuff can be cut up into little sound bites and would work really well in these sort of songs and make him look really